man has gone almost completely still. In the ensuing aftermath of what just occurred, he managed to sneak away to the side. Standing in a room off to the side of the upper layer of the derelict, the individual known as Thorn Mask stands almost stock still, staring up at a space that none seem to be able to perceive. He takes one step forward and almost stubs his toes against the base of the staircase in front of him. Almost robotically, he turns on his heel and slides onto one of the upper stairs, feeling the cold metal against his flesh. Slowly, a breath leaves his body as the mask locks to his face. Becoming as immutable as a statue, he remains in this position, blending into the dark, flames licking on either side of him. Deeper in the derelict. Someone wakes from what feels like a long dream. <clears throat> the queen stirs, feeling a um, flame almost dance along the edge of her hand. This one, slightly separate, contains information. Whispers carried through the walls. Not a fleck of information share... Uh, can be held truly secret within our kingdom. Not when every individual granule of sand within the derelict speaks to her. It tells her not only what transpired, it also whispers beyond. It explains things that, frankly, those in the derelict would have been unable to observe otherwise. A hurried pursuit of a sibling deep into the flame the panicked response, silence, nothingness. She holds her hand out and allows the flame to dissipate, receiving not only a quick rundown of the situation, but more insight than she ever expected. Someone travels into the room, seeking audience with the queen and most either side of her. She closes her eyes and lightly intones, Did you have a nice rest? Hmm. The metal creaks as she resets herself in her chair. It was an interesting dream, certainly. She looks over to Theo at her side, a figure still pressed against her, but now currently an empty body. It seems she has rather nice friends in high places. Hmm. Sonnet's eyes close, a look of relief crossing her face. She exchanges a split moment of a look with Stefano, and then almost carries on to the topic that brought her to the room to begin with. I have a point of curiosity. It seems Eternity's intention has been made all too clear, with thinning our numbers down to six. I want clarification. Hmm. The queen tilts her head. Are we strangers part of the proceedings? The queen sighs, flame moving through the pipes of her suit. Unfortunately, it seems so. By the end of the day, it seems Eternity expects our number to be six and six alone, myself being the lone exception. This includes pyromancers, their strangers, and any demons that Eternity would look at and consider fully sapient. I see. 
Sonnet, I have a question for you. The queen sort of leans forward a little bit, metal creaking. Where does your loyalty lie? Her eyes slowly open. Does it lie with eternity? With your survival? With me? With your duty? Or with yourself? Everyone has a slightly different answer to this question, and I won't begrudge you, regardless of whatever shape yours takes. I've just always been curious. Summit looks over to Stefano again. You both were created around the same time. Hmm. He makes eye contact with Sonnet. She looks over to you. If I can ask, where do yours primarily lie? She looks at you, Stefano. Hmm. He sort of looks to the side for a moment, like he's thinking, and he goes, Honestly, I think right now I'm still trying to decide. Then I guess I can cut myself some slack for being a little lost. I know I have no etern uh no loyalty to eternity. And as far as my loyalty to you goes, I think even that's secondary. She looks over to Fio. And last I checked, the pyromancer who commanded my loyalty was fired from her position. So I'm left asking the question, what's left? The queen lightly smiles behind her mask. It's a question that you need to decide for yourself. Sonnet exhales. All right then, she walks forward and actually takes Fio and lifts her up, turning. <laughs> oh, the queen seems a little shocked. It might not be loyalty, but... I do have a favor to repay. She slowly starts to walk away. <laughs> and then exhales. And you all? You're going to wait at the top of your tower for whatever fate comes to you? She looks at the three of you, starting with Isaac. Don't have any other plans, yeah. She looks over at Stefano. Hmm. Stefano has a similar expression to what he had earlier. It seems like he's still deciding what he wants to do right now. He simply knows, similarly to Sonnet, what he does and does not want to do for the people around him. <laughs> she closes her eyes and then her attention returns to the queen I suppose running away from the derelict is a little more difficult for you <sighs> yes but at the same time I'm finding no small amount of entertainment remaining here Sonnet sort of blinks. Did you know earlier? One of the invading members of Opia seems to have died within the derelict. She relaxes back, fingers cracking against either arm of her chair. The derelict is built to siphon the flames of those. Not only within it, but those from the world above. Ever since Opia began their raid, that functionality of our building has been shut off by one very determined intruder. In this contest of wills, it seems like she's been able to shut me out, make the derelict safe and habitable for everyone who's been running through. But, she raises a hand, it leaves us with an odd paradox. 
one of her companions, one that I believe... A flame dances along her finger. One of the gossips of the derelict. Was her sibling? Had her flame ripped out in this very building? Flipping the switch in the other direction might have given her a chance to save her. At the risk of everyone else who is currently standing in here. And so I'm left with a profound question. Why? She leans forward. What type of person? I'd heard that the uh, inhabitants of World 12 think of themselves as the exception. That action seems woefully pessimistic. Who wouldn't believe with the life of a loved one in danger? Oh, I'll be the one to save them. I'm simply built different. A smile crosses her lips. I want to find the person who could keep their finger on the button and not move an inch. Sonnet's expression falls for a moment. She looks back, looks over at Stefano, and um, sort of internalizes the situation to some extent. I see. In that case, I wish you all the best of luck with your meeting. I have somewhere I need to be. She starts to walk away as the queen moves backwards, lost in quiet contemplation. Elsewhere in the derelict, the question of what type of person could keep their finger on the buzzer without hitting it is uh, briefly answered as... Not that one. <laughs> Mike works her way down the hallway and actually pauses for a moment. She reaches down to her comms and actually sends out a very simple message. Uh, Argos, yours flares up. Yeah. You get boom. <clears throat> you get buzzed from Mike. Um, and uh, the message, uh, based on the current situation, everything that's happening, and the people around you is not exactly what you expect. It's just a very simple... Hey. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally all you get. Oh. I messaged back. You okay? <laughs> she sort of stops. She's like, uh, doing okay for now. Um, she thinks about what she wants to say in this moment. Um, getting closer to the queen. Uh, she wants to ask, you're coming for backup. You're gonna be here when, uh, when this happens, right? But all of that feels honestly a little disrespectful to this guy. And she sort of pauses, rethinks her message and sends it again. Um, Looking forward to seeing you again, partner. <laughs> a very straightforward message from a straightforward person. Hmm. Stay safe. Uh, we'll meet up again soon. You too. She sends... She finishes the exchange as Seder sort of leads the way. Mike ducks her head down and the trio keeps going. In Opia, <laughs> Argos, you wrap up your phone call. Or, not, it's not even a phone call. You wrap up your exchange of five DMs <laughs> as the situation for you. is a little more intense. <laughs> I mean... What could possibly be more intense than diving into the absolute uh, depths of hell to the top of the Queen of the Underworld's castle? But um, as your comms explode in every direction, you realize that the fight has come to Fuse City. And right now, you're the only person here adequately prepared to lead the defense. <clears throat> 
you you're you stop and sort of uh tap your foot against the ground so argus the itinerary that you've been given right now <clears throat> You are to make sure that the defense in Fuse City not only uh, protects the largest number of civilians possible, you are simultaneously supposed to suit up, prepare yourself for transportation, head to the world below, and meet up with Mike. That's, uh, <laughs> that's not good. Tall order, but, uh, you, uh, actually think back. You feel almost a pulsing headache, like, rise up, but in it, you have clarity. You were, t you were your team's shot caller back in the day. You could do that while playing, right? <laughs> Gonna have to. <clears throat> you sort of freeze as uh, you're... You stand there, and um, you see someone heading towards you. And Aloha isn't here to stop her from becoming a character. <laughs> <laughs> she moves forward. <laughs> Walking into frame. <laughs> and you're left with a very important decision. Are you going to head outside to continue this meeting? Or are you going to stand exactly where you are? <laughs> I think I need to get a lay of the land. Yeah, you gotta get a lay of the land. <laughs> you walk forwards as uh, the centaur sort of turns with a hollow pad out in front of her. Um, this is uh, this is Holly Nessity. She's the uh, the the incredibly nice secretary that you've gone to actually grab drinks with a few times. Um, if you work with Verona long enough, you actually get to know Holly. No matter what, she's exceptionally talented and uh, you kind of have to be to manage Verona and Andalane Vega. Um, she sort of turns and looks at you. It's like, oh, hello, Argus. Um, I was told by Serve to give you uh, readings of the area. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> Horses real, guys. Uh, she's like, okay, in that case, she reaches out a hand and uh, sends you data to your holopad as I show you the current situation. Oh boy. <laughs> Let me change the music. Um, Who was that? <laughs> Do this one. You see a display uh, of all known information ignite in front of you. You get a readout of the lower area of Fuse City right now. Ooh. This is uh, the area that's known as Midtown. It's a little more, um, technically there's a lower layer down below it. This would be on the knees of the god. Um, the Undercity is the area that you're a little more experienced with, but Midtown sprawls out in front of you. This is where most of the commerce takes place, etc. Um, the, the beating heart of Fuse City. If you remember, when you were defending the uh, parade ground earlier, this is situated in Midtown, and uh, it's um, similar qualities throughout the entire area. The reading that you have right now is that a few of your agents are pinned down from a force of and closing in on them on two sides. And as you watch the display, our camera zooms in and we go into the map that this is taking place on. <laughs> hey, Robin! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is running through your head right now? Uh, well, let's see. Where am I? Uh, you are. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm GM Center Man. Yes. There you go. Ah, thank you. Uh, and I've got great news. Your pong's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, do I? Can I see that eternity is over there? Uh, if you can't see, your comms are alerting you. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, no, you know he's over there. Getting a clearer view of him from where you are is impossible, but you actually see a uh, drone's feed buzzing through the air, and you just see that he's standing right over there. You're in frame of the shot. Crap. <laughs> it's that... It's that hot guy that all the danger warnings <laughs> were. Not you. I mean... <laughs> uh, you turn over and you look at danger. Uh... I gotta roll something. Yeah, that makes sense. You look over at danger. <laughs> uh, oh, you, rem you remember the that's warning right, you. that was happening uh, about five to six seconds before the eternity thing happened. Oh no. This man just found oh, out no. his sister's dead. <laughs> Oh god, oh no. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Starts hugging. It's time for hugs now. <laughs> you move over as, um, as, uh, Robin. You hear a cacophony of the heavy gunfire that almost sounds like, um, it almost sounds like, like a, like a legally distinct, uh, nerf gun. As you hear, thump, 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 thump. No, it sounds exactly like the paintball gun that the Rangers fire. Uh, this one has already started unloading. Uh, not over at Eternity. You notice their shots are traveling in this direction as this group of civilians what? dives in this direction. You notice she's firing at a figure that's heading at you oh, from God. a nearby alleyway. Uh, she reaches up her cane, taps it once against the ground, and in response, a throng of demons almost scrambles their way off of every single wall and begins to sprint their way forwards. A layer of suppressing fire stops them from reaching the civilians as uh, these guys soldiers sort of take knee and start to aim and fire. Now I ask you, Robin, what are you doing? It's all going to shit. <laughs> okay. Well, this is... Uh... Probably the worst situation he's ever been in. Oh yeah, easily. You'd uh, you'd kind of struggle to find a worse situation overall. And so, like, I I think it's time to do you know the crazy stuff, or else oh. everybody dies. <laughs> like, like, there's no point in in keeping up appearances. Yeah. So she's she's going to take countermand and yes. switch it into its rifle mode. Ooh, nice. And shoot into the sky. <laughs> you boom, You fire off into the air and you hear a and scream it... from around you. Everyone! Get out of here! <laughs> Shelters to the oh, north. Tell them to go, go north. north. <clears throat> they they start to run off in this direction as... I'm an authority use... figure or a crazy person! <laughs> <laughs> they start to they start to run off in this direction. Liam, what do you do? Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> uh, he sees that they are going uh, towards the technically correct direction, but also towards the dirty. Uh -huh. so uh, he can do the only thing that he can do, and he fucking leaps just there to to like try to fucking shepherd dog them into the other like direction. <laughs> You you start to go the that's actually really good. Could you um uh no no roll for this. I think you're solid actually. You start to shepherd them over in this direction. As uh Robin, the group of civilians starts to fall back as the demons start to move forward and begin to overwhelm the guy's line of defense. Uh compulsion is walking jauntily behind. We rotate back over to you. You've managed to get them, uh, you managed to get them moving. What's the next step of the plan? Okay. Well, it looks like they're being shepherded. Yes. Which is good. I can't see Eternity yet. No. But, so I'm just gonna, there's really nothing in the manual about dealing with him. No. So I'm gonna <laughs> deal with, uh, these demons Bullshit. instead. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> Robin's just gonna run up and, I guess, open fire. Yeah, you uh, you move up next to Pixie and you start to shoot. You notice that uh, she has a large briefcase that a uh, that a barrel of a minigun is just emerging from and it. it's spinning and firing. And you get down next to her and you lock your sword into uh, Counterman's sheath, whip it around and start to aim it. 
Uh, you've received a brief explanation on how countermand works or functions practically. Yes. The sword is functionally a heated object, and uh, the sheath draws power from that heat almost like a battery. So, I'm going to mark you with green heat right now. When you perform actions that use the sword, the heat will increase, and it will uh, flip over. Uh, you have flipped upside down for some reason. Um, <laughs> allow me to... Uh, wait. What the fuck? No. <laughs> There you go. Sorry, I'm really nervous. <laughs> um, as you perform various actions, your heat will go from green to yellow to red. Um, and uh, those are those are your stronger actions in addition to your heat. So I'm just going to mark you with that. You also have an ammo counter. Let me hit this. She will not stop migrating north for some reason. <laughs> Why is she moving? <laughs> I don't know. It ain't me. <laughs> ah, she flipped over again. <laughs> hey, Robin. I'm gonna delete you Robin, and create you a new one. You, uh, you good? That one dies. <laughs> Eternity, like, hmm, I'm about to embarrass this girl. Oh, she goes again, man. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Let me mark your ammo. There you go. Mm. So you're gonna start with six. And oh. you uh, you move into place and prep yourself to fight. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. And keep man. moving, apparently. Yeah, I have no what idea is... what the... What is happening, man? <laughs> All right, who's the funny guy? Let me see who has control over Robin. Ho, 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 you're in for it now. Uh, it's just you and me. Uh, I'm going to refresh. I, I, I don't know if that would yeah. help because I'm saying like, you. I'm gonna unplug my controllers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I was just thinking, huh? For once, it's something that I know I'm not doing by accident, and then I, I don't know how or why. I think it's reading my inputs because I had my hand on the W key for unrelated reasons. I'm not on the map. I don't have Robin. No, she's just going, man. She's going up and down and flipping and. Okay, I'm gonna spawn an additional Robin. Let's see if they both. Whoa! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Okay, what I'm the not fuck? touching anything, so it's not me. Oh my god! What okay, this is. What romancer ability is this? This is scary, <laughs> what? Yeah. Wobbly woobly. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just create a new Robin. Yeah. There and we go. Like, we fixed your token, but then it broke again, so, like, you know. Do you have the old broken Robin token? Uh, it means you fix your token. Now she's fucking haunted. Let me just. Okay, so I'm yeah, gonna. We give, fixed it with ghosts. I'm gonna give her exclusive control to you, and we'll see if it happens. Uh. There you go. Okay. Okay. Seems good. Seems good. Not haunted it anymore. Seems good. That was seems scary. Good. That was scary, That's so man. <laughs> Shit's on it. There you go. Okay. So, you lock into place with your two bullets, and uh, yeah, you get ready to fire. Oh, no. Well, yeah. This is happening. It's again. not me. <laughs> <laughs> it must be somehow. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not like any controller this. or like, you know. Uh, it was the second you used your uh, your macro to change, uh, to change expressions. Yeah. Look at her go, man. <laughs> what command do you have to flip them upside down? <laughs> I would like it known, there is no other way I would have wanted the Robin session to open. <laughs> yeah, no, same. <laughs> She's just getting it down. <laughs> He was just like breakdancing. Robin, it, it, Robin for... would never hit the gritty. <laughs> <laughs> she would attempt. <laughs> okay. I unplugged my stream deck and I, I think we're Should okay. I, yeah. Wait. Nope. Wait, was that, was that you? Was that no. you? No. <laughs> is, is, it, is, is it the okay. like. Okay, I have, a le I have a less fun concept. That, is there a way that you'll have like? I'm dropping you an Argus. Wait, try wait, him. wait. 
You may maybe try changing your roll twenty password. <laughs> no, Wait. I don't. I don't think no. that's it. Hey, yo, uh, is uh, is it happening to Argos Jackson? Try and move him Doesn't around. Doesn't seem like. Wait, wait, put put put, put, put the put the the green token on him. Okay. What? 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 It's what? The <laughs> yep, it's, I, I noticed it happened as soon as you put the token on. What? what? Fuck. Oh my god, okay. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys, hold on. I gotta type up one of Compulsion's new abilities. Like, try. Try Allow me to hit you with the green. It's the try, curse of the goblin. Try, <laughs> try the other ones that aren't green. I wonder if it's just all tokens. Some reason are glitched right now, or what the fuck? if roll twenty. What are you made of? That's I, insane. Okay, because yellow? I think I think the green one made her move down. I think the bullet one made her flip upside down. Red. Holy fucking. Fuck. It takes Why a second. Is it just red, crazy? red. They're fine. Okay. 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 Uh, green. <laughs> now, 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 now put the bullet, put wow. the bullet. Okay, put the bullet, put the bullet, put the bullet. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Honey, are you fucking drunk? Oh no, that, sorry, we're figuring out a brand new mechanic in real time, okay. <laughs> bullet Just... seems fun, bullet seems fun. Wait, wait. Yeah, bullet green fine. on her. Okay. It's a combination. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's so scary. Okay, okay, okay. So it's gonna be blue, not green. It goes the classic stoplight configuration: blue, yellow, red. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, let's get to the session. This was session. a fucking <laughs> Oh, weird. holy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Jackson. Start of your turn, you've generated a bullet each time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All my USP. <laughs> hey, chat. Welcome, welcome to Reflection, where green is haunted. <laughs> Put green on a random civilian down below, and he's just moving. It's just green. Oh my god, that's horrifying! How, Look at him. Have we somehow figured out AI movement in Roll Twenty by just putting green? <laughs> oh, there he goes. Yes, he has <laughs> what is going? Be, oh, wow. be free! Be free! My Why? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just letting him go, man. <laughs> This guy. <laughs> Incredible. Oh my god. Thank you, Bill 20, for that. This is creating awesome uh, uh, crowd crowd ambience. Crowd <laughs> yeah. I, around I, ambience. I get it. Dude, it's almost St. Patty's Day, dude. He's trying not to get pinched. <laughs> so fair. Okay. That's it. We solved it. All right. It. What, what the hell was I doing? Uh, you were <laughs> shooting at the demons during okay. your, your tutorial section. Sorry, Jackson. I forgot to let you know the secret part of the tutorial. Green <laughs> means haunted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. All right. I'm going to unload. Give Yeah, unfucking load oh, I should roll to die, shouldn't I? Yes. Give me a roll to die. All right. Oh, how unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a real shame. Uh, give me a uh, give me that good old good old roll to do. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Just keep coming. Yes! And so it starts. <laughs> so, uh, oh. Robin. You uh, you you start you start firing, <laughs> as uh, let's uh, let's see let's see how good Pixie does. She can she can pull it out Robin maybe. Robin hits a civilian. <laughs> the Robin she does that to you guys. Oh my God, guys! Oh. <laughs> you She's uh, by how off Robin's shot was. <laughs> She's like 
physically turning Robin around, like, no, this way. This way, this way. You guys fire, and uh, what happens is uh, <laughs> Compulsion sees you roll the worst joint she's ever witnessed. <laughs> Local opiate agent takes worst shot of all time, and she literally turns her attention. She was probably gonna walk up and do something fucked up up there. Instead, she turns, looks at you, and is just beelining in this direction. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you I love, did, yeah, did Pixie see that? Uh, Pixie that absolutely shot. saw, but she uh, kind of blew it too. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Serve is going to... Um, yeah, this is the best he's got. Okay, that's a solid roll. Uh, serve uh, hacks in and uh, causes these streetlights to explode, uh, forcing this geist goon to sort of like take off backwards and continue shooting as a split second of time is bought. Highly I'm back to you. Ghosts happened <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> Right. Um, okay. <laughs> oh God. So, uh, do I do I see um, uh, the demons going toward? I, I would imagine that I see the demons going towards Robin because Sir basically made a big yes. kind of attention right there. Um, do these people? Are these people going the right way now? <laughs> they are going the correct way and away from eternity. Thank fucking God. Okay. Um, oh God. Uh, I'm gonna go into. Oh God, this is the start of my turn. I'm gonna yeah. go into beast mode so I can have uh, extra fucking movement. He's gonna just. What? <laughs> right there. <laughs> um, and uh, no, actually, he's gonna whoop right there. Um, and here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna use my free ignite. Yes. Right? Uh, to tag Robin as a prop. <laughs> Yes! And throw her backwards. <laughs> and then I'm gonna ignite for real. I should have to roll to die. Hold on. Um, yes, yes, yes. Roll to die. Uh, bap, ignite. Uh, there we go. Okay, now ignite for real. And I tag Pixie as a, <laughs> as a prop. And I throw her backwards. <laughs> Give me some narration of what the movement looks like. Like, you touching down and from grabbing the, both of them. I guess from up. the point of view of these two, it's literally just a... <laughs> like, behind them, as they feel just hands on their collars, and they're just flying. <laughs> <laughs> what direction? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... Towards uh, danger. Oh, lovely. You throw them both backwards, and they slide into position. Pixie like, oh. And Robin, you scree across the ground as uh, Danger's losing it. Uh, he's going to roll to keep himself together. Time to, it's time to try, my man. Okay, Yo. okay. <laughs> At service repeated insistence, Danger manages to pick himself up slightly. He... He, he gets himself ready, pulls out his echo weapons, and is like, Okay, got a job to do. He picks himself up and serves like, oh, shit. Um, he reappraises the situation as, You all are here, compulsion bears down on you, and you feel uh, almost a cold wind travel from the area up here. It, um... It's overwhelming, to be honest. It almost feels like the flame is being pulled from your body, and you watch some of the people in uh, these locations, like, sort of pitch to the side. Just being around this man is enough of an influence to almost drive them to unconsciousness. Liam's efforts keeps them moving and make sure that they make it to the shelter, however. He takes a step forwards as... He looks over the city, and you actually hear a buzz on your comms. <clears throat> Back to Argos. But, well, I guess everybody on the open comms would hear this. This includes Pixie, Robin, etc. You... You hear a very straightforward call from somebody who, for a few of you, used to be your squad leader. 
Yeah, I got him right in front of me. Uh, moving in, I'll do my best to contain him. Back to the strategic map! Argos. Yeah, that's... Breach enters the battlefield. <laughs> so! Oh, yeah. Uh, over here. The situation seems to be evolving <clears throat> from your perspective. Compulsion is engaged with uh, the entire squad there. So, for now, I'm going to say these characters are outside of your limit of orders. Argos, your job, at least for the moment, is to contain Eternity and the others to make sure the largest number of civilians are safe. So, Argos, I'm going to explain to you your RTS gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> there are, functionally, three classes. As one after the other, your units start to chime in. We have Breach in the forefront. She is a defender type. She is able to block an unlimited number of units and has a large health pool. Furthermore, Breach can draw a large horizontal line that makes it so anyone that wants to get past her has to go through her. As such, she is currently blocking all of this squad from eternity. Another call comes across the comms. Justice reporting in. Um, I can close the distance, but I don't know. There's complications on the way. He updates you on the situation. Not only is Eternity here, but it seems like throughout the city, <clears throat> there's a mixture of compulsions, demons, and stranded civilians. I'm marking them in green. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tinting them in green. <laughs> Dab snows. <clears throat> and let me go over here. Where are you guys? <clears throat> You know what? Let's let's just start the tutorial with these two, actually. So, Argos. <clears throat> Basically, how it's going to work is... You have defender units, attacker units, and then there is a support type of unit. I go down to this lower left-hand corner. This is serve. Uh, this is also you. I'll get to the actions that you personally can take soon. Attacker units have a very simple rule. They will always deal damage to the people that they're fighting first, which means if they can kill them, they won't take any damage in return. Other units simply trade. Justice has the unique ability to regenerate health over time. That's it. We're keeping things very straightforward. During a simple uh, during a single turn, characters will advance towards whatever objective uh, you set them towards. So, very simply, there is a group of enemies up here. Do me a favor and give Justice the order to attack these guys. All right, Justice, I need you to move north and take down those putty soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, boss. Uh, he rushes up and moving you down to here. <clears throat> we will not go over every single interaction that happens in this way as the battle will grow increasingly chaotic, but... Functionally, what this does... <clears throat> By forcing them to interact on the map, Justice will close the distance, and, on this neat little tactical map, will close and automatically do battle with the individual in front of him. With his attacker ability, he will close the distance, pick up his axe, cut through, and keep going. Hell yeah. Elsewhere. <clears throat> you see your strategic map update as one of the demons is defeated and over here 
Breach is going to. <clears throat> Use her ability to close the distance and erect a giant wall of earth between eternity and the civilians beyond. Breach, this turn, squares up and will be tanking eternity. Um, she, uh, she's actually gonna, uh, ask you a question. Uh, your comms flare up again. <clears throat> hey Argus, to be honest, I don't think I can tangle with this guy for very long, but I can pick him up and throw him somewhere else. Where do you want him dropped? Argos, this is a one-time use of Breach's once per session ability. She can pick up Eternity and throw him to another part of the map. Where are you going to drop him? <laughs> oh boy. So... You can also leave him here for now. Um... It... Huh. Are yeah. there other civilians, like, on the map that we haven't encountered, or is this... Yes! Have we, like, scans the whole city, okay. Certainly there are other civilians around. <laughs> All right. I'm going to need... Serve is, is plugged into the city somehow. Yes! So I need him to find a spot uh, mm. far away, like, upper left, With the where fewest... there are no civilians. Yeah. With the fewest number of civilians. Excellent. Can do. Okay. Um... In this case, I'm actually going to reveal another uh, support unit that you have. So, your support units, another one, flares up on the comms. <clears throat> Logan, the IT guy, joins the uh, joins the conversation. Serve, uh, serve similarly is like, <clears throat> if you're asking for research or other insight, please. Um, we'll do our best to locate you, whatever you wish. Uh, in this case, you can assign both of them once per turn to try to investigate a location for you. So, you want to oh, find, yeah, perfect. uh, you want to find a spot that, um, uh, Logan, in this case, it would be, uh, your, uh, your role to do to locate a spot that has a low number of civilians in it. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, roll to die first and then roll to do. Yes. Okay. Afterwards. Uh... Logan goes on a two-turn cooldown, but he can locate a uh, he can he can pick out a field before uh, before it's you know directly seen in combat. Your blue is data download, so yes. I will do that. Um, and roll to do. Hit that button. Okay, lovely. <clears throat> uh, the proper location for eternity would be uh, up here, actually. Okay. All right, breach. Uh, here's some coordinates. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best to hit the shot. She rushes forward. As Earth begins to almost rise up from the bottom of the road around her, it binds inwards like a gravity well, forming a tight ball, and then she reaches back and just throws it. Okay. Breach. Your accuracy is a little off. You, uh, she sends it flying, and he slams here, hitting the ground. It seems like the area is clear. Uh, breach radios back in. Okay, do you want me to move anywhere? All right, move up towards eternity, but do not directly engage. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try and timer scam him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's something I can get behind. Thanks, boss. She uh, moves her way up here, and that resolves this round of the RTS. On Robin's map. This is so map, fucking cool. This is so fucking cool. <laughs> I just want to say this is so fucking cool. I'm, it's a fucking vibe, dude. It's the dual <laughs> fantasy. I'm going to go to the side. I'm going to say, Jackson, do you yeah. want me to de DM you all of the class abilities and stuff in your DM so that you can reference it later? Oh, that'd be great. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thank there you, guys. Here. Robin City. Okay. Uh, you, uh, you actually hear an encouraging call uh, from Breach, the rest of you. Uh, Robin, your comms flare up as 
I managed to move Eternity to the northern part of the city. I'm gonna try to contain him. We've got the tactician on the line. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. You guys focus on compulsion, okay? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> roger, roger. Pixie speaks up. Uh, don't die, Breach like. I'll do my best. And the line clicks. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, Robin! All right. You're so, left with a pyromancer! <laughs> great. I mean, at least it's not eternity. Yep. Uh, so she starts out with countermand sheathed. Yes! And I guess... Even though... Even though she got thrown back, she's still gonna move up. <laughs> Yeah, let's go! <laughs> I'm gonna... Pixie's staying the fuck back. <laughs> yeah. And... Let's see what I can do. I'm gonna keep it in... It's a sheathed gun mode. Yeah. And just for as long as I can, plink away at these... These little nobodies you uh your ammo ticks up again and you aim down and start to fire uh give me a roll to do can i you can uh yeah. yes uh the act ended so you can re-roll this is a somewhat non-traditional <laughs> combat oh, oh my oh, god yeah my, uh, you, you, you can draw first you can draw first you get to re-roll Am I not? <laughs> <laughs> Bros, we might be we might be in trouble. <laughs> All right, no problem. She's gonna unload on on these. <laughs> okay, oh, uh, they will roll. <laughs> Things are going great down here. <laughs> Jay, why did uh, you yeah. set this up? Oh <laughs> my god, yeah, no, uh, they just, they charge forward, raising their arms, and the, 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 the bullets start to bounce off Liam Go. <laughs> oh boy, uh, so, uh, that's getting really close to those fucking civilians right They next sure to me. fucking are! <laughs> uh, so how much movement do I have normally? Uh, you would have, uh, I believe Liam's six spaces. Six so, spaces. Okay, yeah. so uh, start on my turn. I'm going to switch to Bastion mode. I'm going to move yeah. one, two, three. Uh, nice! <laughs> my capacity to throw things is dramatically increased. That's more sizes and people. So here's the thing. It's usually yeah. you described it as a object of a bigger size. I would say that a group of people is bigger than one person. Uh, so I'm going to throw those guys nowhere. <laughs> I will absolutely accept this! <laughs> The, uh, the crit 20, thankfully, is not the enemies you're fighting. It's this man down here who has been staring compulsion down in the face, lowers the assault rifle, it runs out of ammo, pulls out the sidearm, and just blows this guy. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so that was my free ignite. Um, and uh, I'm, what I'm probably going to do is... Okay. Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> ignite once more. Yeah, group them up for me. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I just just throw that shit up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just get that shit over there. Liam, you <laughs> and you throw them all up there. Fucking, fucking bear hugs the whole group. Fucking spins around like a hammer thrower at the Olympics and just woo. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I am in Bastion. I will say that the ground is a big prop. I'm gonna ignite to tag the ground and fucking. Uh, do uh, basically stomp to try to uh, slow those guys down. Oh so my god, love it! Add a one d six. Yeah, l let me um, hold on. Uh, so it's beginning of the turn, so I should hold. On. I need to do all the dice shit. So roll to die, unlock. Uh, Fucking do I roll to die it. again, or uh, you would uh, end of the act, and yes, give me another one. Okay, roll to die again. Okay, uh, Angie. Red. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna ignite that. Uh, where is it? Ignite. There we go. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm gonna basically stomp the ground and do like the fucking uh, like 
Overwatch, like Reinhardt fucking yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> cracks on the ground in front of me to try and destabilize those guys and slow them, slow them down. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm rolling wild because I have ignited. Uh, roll to do. Oh! Finally. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Uh, tell me where they're going. You get to decide. You said slow them down. Uh, you're slowing them down and displacing them. Tell me where you want them. On compulsion. <laughs> <laughs> Pixie rushes forward as if to follow you up, aims down the barrel of her minigun and fires, and it's okay. <laughs> she, um... She uses her reflection, Alchemist's Tower, to, um, oh, right, hold on. She gets to roll to die at the start of her turn. Okay, that's six. Um, so, Al Alchemist's Tower, I'm going to post all of it in chat just so it's there. It is a uh, wall of text Jeez. um, for different potion effects. Very simple. But uh, in this case, she's going to aim down the line and, um... Uh, she is going to use, um, she's going to use her, uh, pink potion, which is what she's got locked in, to create an area. No, she's just shooting you, Robin. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? She turns, whirls the minigun, and just <laughs> shoots you, uh, head to toe with her pink potion. <laughs> Uh, your oh. flame starts to burst and burn out of your body. Take a plus six on your next action. Wow. <laughs> she, uh, fu functionally, when she locks in a dice, the color that she locks in determines the variety of potion, and the two remaining dice determine the volume that she gets. So, she had a volume six red potion. She shot you with six... Re uh, six pink potions, and now uh, you get the plus six on your attacks. Very straightforward, actually. Um, so uh, yeah, enjoy enjoy your upcoming bonus. Uh, Danger's gonna move forward, and he is going to. Uh, just gonna boy's gonna hold the line. Okay, um, he's going to prep himself and get ready. You've made a shield wall. Uh, compulsion. She picks herself up very slowly from the uh, from the creatures as they are going to rise as their move and then move here, 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 and here. Uh, I'm going to say that one's close enough to attack you, Liam, and that one's close enough to attack Danger. So, two That's rolls to die for me. Two rolls <clears throat> to die. God, I d forgot that he rolls like a god on defense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, these guys are rolling very straightforwardly. Uh, okay. Uh, Liam, you will get hit for two damage. Two damage. Uh, it's reduced by three because I'm in bastion mode. So that You would be lock easy. down and simply deflect the attack. Danger picks up his shield and knocks it away as the demons start to close in. I'm rolling for John Geist. <laughs> Let's go! Yo! <laughs> oh, what John fuck? Geist throws his sidearm down, picks out his knife, rushes forward, jumps this demon, and stabs it to death on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> of course Christian is in chat saying John Geist. <laughs> Christian guys. sensed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's his fucking boy. Uh, this guy's soldier, uh, sorry, I'm giving him a health bar and a name. He earned it. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, this is... <clears throat> health bar. Oh, I guess I should ask now, what's my health total? Uh, your health total. So, uh, I actually... I'm gonna do something fun during break. We're gonna we're gonna stat you guys. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Thumbs up. <laughs> this is uh this is your tutorial prologue for the fight. I uh, see. Okay, so uh, John Geist has this health bar. Uh, now that we care about him, I will establish uh this man can die. Um, <laughs> so uh yeah, here he is. <laughs> He's got 10 HP and no stats. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's Carrie. go. The, the, he was ready, though. 
Uh, okay, Robin, your go. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right, so not entirely sure how this works. Yeah. I'm going to try it anyway. Ooh, lovely. Uh, she feels the... Well, first, she's going to move up. Yes. <laughs> feels the trigger on uh, Countermand, ready to propel the blade out. And uh, I'm going to use Propel. Fact. Ooh, so nice, nice, nice. 1d6 spaces. Oh, so you, you so discharge I'm a... move first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me drop your ammo by one. Boom. Tell me how you propel yourself. All right. All right. Uh, use, using the explosive power coming from the sheath, Robin zips forward with surprising nimbleness. For someone who rolls so many ones. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're going for her! <laughs> yeah, she she's super powered. She's feeling heroic. Oh, Robin. <laughs> and uh You can it, the 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 act ended. You can also drop and roll to die again and hopefully for the love of god get something higher than a one <laughs> i don't need to <laughs> i respect it <laughs> i'm going to then uh use impulse which lets ooh. me take an additional additional action ooh excellent so you're gonna slash twice <laughs> yes Sick. Uh, okay. Can, can I use both against uh, compulsion? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right. So, so that drops go. me by two ammo. That drops you by two ammo. It increases your heat by one. Uh, so that will put you to uh, yellow, not, not green. <laughs> I'm gonna make it uh, orange, so it just pops a little bit more. There you go. Um, oh yeah. There you go. Problem. So yeah, uh, attack twice. Oh, Get plus sixes on both. Plus six. <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! This Just... truly is the Robin Room. <laughs> <laughs> the Robin Roomelli experience as you close in and you're ready. <laughs> you you're ready to close in with a pyromancer. You manage to get past the defensive line just like in training. All the theoretical scenarios that uh were prepped for you <laughs> prepped you for this exact moment. Your sword flies free from the sheath, a bullet locking in place and allowing you to draw at speeds uh, that tr simply put transcend humanity. A lock in place and you swing, a flare of flame crossing through the air as the strike travels straight at Compulsion's throat. But it never reaches it. Ting! What stands between her and you is simply put, she flipped her cane to rest upwards. Your blade vibrates against it, burning with light amounts of heat as she sort of tilts her head, looks back and forth, smiles, rolls to die. Uh, roll to die for me. <clears throat> okay. She's just gonna, this isn't a big roll or anything. Oh, okay. Uh, Robin! She reaches her hand out for you. And in that split second, you feel <laughs> your life flash before your eyes. Tell me how you stop the attack from going through. Well, luckily, after <laughs> <laughs> after being so <laughs> thoroughly uh, pwned, as a gamer would say, <laughs> after whiffing her attack so bad, she's already scared. And so when, <laughs> <laughs> when she raises her hand, Robin panics and is ready to dodge out of the way. She raises her hand and you felt for a split second she was about to put the green back on you. Yeah. <laughs> That's the most, the most extreme flinch ever. <laughs> you full body flinch and actually the force of your sword uh, still carries you forward. Your body pirouettes. You drag yourself to the side, land on one knee, bracing your sword into the ground. You're up. An attack from a pyromancer just grazed over your head. Maybe you could do this. <laughs> <laughs> the situation would make me believe that. <laughs> hey, Liam. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your plan? <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, so start of the start of next turn. So I'm gonna roll yeah. the die. Yes. Uh, mm. To unlock my shit. Oh. Eight. Not. Oh. Hello. Roll twenty. Hello. Roll twenty. Hi. Whoa, there it is. Green okay. Be upon you. <laughs> Whoa, green be upon me. Uh, okay, roll to die again. There we go, Angie. Um, so <laughs> let's see. Oh boy, so Robin just charged over there. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm sort of busy over here. Danger seems to have the. Uh, he's gonna get some help because the Geist guy actually downed his guy. Yeah. Um, Pixie is right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Uh, hold on, I'm just making sure of something real quick. Uh, okay. Question. Yes. Um, if, if I use the enemy in front of me <laughs> as a prop... <laughs> You're asking I, all of can, the questions can, I was can so I, excited can for. I technically, can I technically damage both the enemy and compulsion? You know time? you can! Alright, I'm gonna shift the beast mode. <laughs> I'm gonna free ignite grab this guy. Uh, um, and uh, move over here, uh, adjacent to, uh, essentially adjacent to Robin. Uh, I'm gonna use this demon as a bat and try to, <laughs> <laughs> to smash on compulsion. <laughs> Give me um, a roll to do one d six bonus from using th from using this prop. <laughs> from using this prop. Okay. Yeah, and that was my free ignite, so I don't need to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Roll to do. Where is it? Roll to do. Okay. One d six. One d six. Okay. So this will hit the demon for two as the demon slams at the compulsion side as wing. The attack hits her and she actually takes a step back this way. You hold the bat up high and you strike a stance next to Robin. Robin, you uh, look up at also, Liam. Also, I am I am in B just just to oh, absolutely yeah. sure I am beast mode, which means all damage is doubled. Double four damage. The uh, the demon goes limp in your hands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Robin, my bat transformed to wet noodle. <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> you two stand side to side as start of turn, Pixie. Um, yeah, she'll swap over to healing. Um, that's eight points of it. Uh, she's going to roll to die to delay her action. That if anyone gets hurt, she will um immediately fire on them. Uh, and then uh. You know it's his turn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, the the guy soldier back here uh, sees that you guys apparently have the pyromancer under control. He sort of whirls on his heel and he like takes a step over in this direction. He picks up he picks up pace, still carrying the knife, and he slams into danger sidelong and like looks over. Hey. You guys got any of those echo weapon things? They're just like, I, I don't know where they are. I think they might be over by, uh, he like points over to the shelter to the north. Uh, as John guys like, thanks, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Stabs this demon and just runs. <laughs> our, our new objective is survive until John Geist comes back. <laughs> 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 Danger remains locked in with this guy who slumps against his shield and then Danger's gonna try to close the distance and stab at this guy. Uh, he swings his weapon and... Okay. It seems like everything is going pretty good as this demon also similarly drops. Compulsion sort of rubs the side of her face and uh, it's funny, she almost looks over the two of you specifically it, uh, the bravery it took for you to close the distance and the sheer force that it took to uh, immediately, you know, <laughs> reduce the bat to jelly. She actually turns, looks, sort of sweeps her gaze to the side, and you feel an eye that's almost been split into triplicate appraise each of you. Interesting. I am curious. She moves closer, almost using her bodies as cover for a split second. What is your worth? It's a simple exchange, but 
it seems like in this exact moment, she isn't raising her weapon against you. She's asking the question genuinely. How do you respond? <laughs> do, do you want to answer first? <laughs> I mean, I can tell you how Robin feels. I think it should be... I don't know if she'd actually, like, respond. Robin feels worthless right now. <laughs> Uh, answer from Liam. None of, your, none of your business, nerd! <laughs> <laughs> you! You reel back and you prep for another round of combat as... Argos. You get a message from Serve. <clears throat> it seems like Robin and Liam are locking things down to the best of their abilities. However, I have bad news. <clears throat> that same signal that we detected from that area. We've detected it again and again, though weaker. If I had to guess, it seems like Robin and Liam are facing off with Compulsion's true body while all over the city. It seems like those nodes that we were discussing earlier are flaring to life. If they come into contact with any civilians... It will be over. The possession will be immediate, and we will have a bunch of walking bombs on our hands. When formulating your strategy, I ask you for a favor. Please consider these first. They're the largest hazard on the battlefield. And if possible, escort civilians to safe locations where they are not at a risk from either compulsion or eternity. <clears throat> he sort of pauses, and, uh... Corrects himself for a split second. I must admit. It is nice to be fighting alongside of you again. Particularly after the whale song scenario. I trust your tactical <laughs> acumen more than any other. If there's anyone that can get them all out of there alive, it's you. You. It, it's us. <laughs> he pauses. And, like, actually feeling a little bit of relief. I apologize. I lost myself for a second there. Yes, it's us. <laughs> the most handsome men in Opia. <laughs> 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 and with that, I call our first break. <laughs> oh, good night. This is really Let's fun. Let's fucking go! <laughs> really, really fun. <laughs> I love reflection. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. oh my god, Robin, 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 I'm I'm I'm, I'm oh taking god. you to the I'm taking you to the locker room. Okay, Robin, we <laughs> yeah. gotta we gotta pull it together. First you haunted, then you can only roll ones. Let's pick your shit out, Robin. <laughs> Robin, you gotta lock in. We gotta lock yeah. in, Robin! Cool <laughs> secret stuff. <laughs> we'll never make it to nationals like this, bro. <laughs> I'll oh back my god. <laughs> I, I liked Aloha's idea of whenever Robin rolls a one, she gets <laughs> more or she something. Gets heat. <laughs> or, just, just a pat on the back, something. Yeah, you're rolling way more runs than I think you and... should. <laughs> it's like they knew. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little. I'm a little. How did? How did they know? How does? How does it always know? Jackson, nope. how does? How roll 20 it... is sentient. I think that's what we've proven. Roll, roll 20 is sentient? How does it feel to power scale yourself? Where it's like, <laughs> oh god, oh god, Robin, oh god, oh god, and then it's back to Argus. It's like, oh shit, Argus is back. We're it's under control. We got this. Everything's fine. And then it's, oh fuck, it's back in Robin's hands. What do you think is stronger? Uh, this is tactical prowess or Robin rolling ones? <laughs> <laughs> Food no, mother no, no. says, How hard can you carry? <laughs> 1,000 bits for Holly Nessity. So, uh, fun story about the, uh, about this session. Um, this is going to be a Jackson-only session. Uh, yeah. we're going to just go back and forth between Robin and Argos until the situation resolves. There are a lot of characters who, whose lives are on the line this time, folks. <laughs> So get ready for it. Get pranked. You know, this is literally thought last wave... time was stressful. <laughs> this is literally wave three's big fucking try. Yeah. Well, <laughs> send the kids at them. 
I missed the scene. Did something happen to Danger? Uh, Danger's doing better He's doing pretty than good. before. Yeah, yeah. He's doing better. He's keeping it together. He is pissing and crying the entire time. He's um, my special he's little going... boy. I think he's allowed he's to... Amazing. To... He's allowed. <laughs> I'm going to use the bathroom really quick, and then we'll uh, we'll sign your stuff. Honestly, it, we're in the oh, bad yeah. timeline. Yeah. If he stops pissing and crying, I'm going to be real. No. If he stops pissing and crying, we're in the bad timeline. <laughs> it gives him his power. The little dude is out here doing his fucking best, and I will not hear one word against him. <laughs> okay, uh, just so you know, Jackson, or is Jackson Beerby? He's muted. Okay. That's funny. Hi, anyway. Chat! Aloha's not here, so we get to pick the question for you, too. Yeah, and my <laughs> question is, which one of Pixie's potions is your favorite? Woo! Good question! I have a question not for the chat, but for everyone in call that wants to, to, to think about it. What's your character's one line that plays when they get selected on the RTS map? On the RTS map? Yeah. Oh. 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 Welcome back. Malou says, I'm ready. In the oh. most basic bitch fashion. <laughs> I love her. I love her so. I feel like, oh god. I feel like Trouble would say right choice or something like that. Yeah, like right coffee. <laughs> Like, of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. I'm trying to think, but Cam, he's, it's gotta be something that's just like, hey, Come man. Back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, super back. chill. <laughs> so not, not, should not be what it, yeah, like, sub, like. <laughs> I'm trying to yeah, think of not. Yeah, if you like... doing the classic butler at your service, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Ace would I think be like, Ugh, fine. Be <laughs> <laughs> I think nine would just be a soft exhalation. <laughs> Circuit would have been a, let's get them. <laughs> but you know, nowadays, what's up? It's the Fire Emblem experience. <laughs> it's so yeah, funny. Yeah, the Fire Emblem voice. Are we going to reset the run until the circuit's alive? <laughs> what's the what's Ace <laughs> voice <laughs> line? <laughs> Hello, Why, are Why are we playing on legendary? Why are we playing on hardcore? Did you ask that question to chat of like uh, what? Uh, uh, like a, a, the to the YouTube comments. The question to chat was the uh, was the which uh, potion of uh, Pixie is the favorite one. Damn, dude, she got purple. That's kind of cool. <laughs> she got purple. You like <laughs> the purple one, Aloha? I didn't purple. read any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked the color and said I like the purple. I thought you would like gray. I, I, I have the dreaded uh, thing of I can't spend time reading because I have to pay attention to the stuff and move camera. And yeah, yeah, that's, yeah fair. that's That's why. I spent. Uh, I uh, sent you, the. Uh, I just illiterate really motherfucker. Really quick. I sent the. Uh, I sent her full gift into the spoiler chat of our discord if you guys yeah. want to see it it's over there i i also slowly scrolled through it just so if okay. any youtube viewer wanted to read it they could pause and read oh, it oh you clever bean very nice i always do that when gifts are posted in the real oh, chat. bless you so if anyone says oh i didn't get that uh pause the video scroll back Lovely. there you go anyways can you tell uh which part of the gifts i wrote <laughs> <laughs> and um, you look at all of Pixie's stupid ass potions that I made. It's wonderful. Bless. Robins would just be screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Like stammering. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, are you, are you sure? <laughs> yeah! Yes, it would be you sure. <laughs> uh, by the way, Jackson. Um. Mm -hmm. As okay. as you get more characters in the RTS section, I will be updating the lists in your DMs, just so you know. Oh god, it gets more complicated. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no wait, you can't it's, read. It's fucking Effectively, move. the way it breaks down is I sent you the class descriptions. That's all of the classes that will be available to you. Um, and then each character has like a special character thing. That's They've got a special character that. ability. They will ask for your permission to use it. So you don't need to like... You don't need a micro absolutely everyone in this phase. They'll be like, hey, I can do my thing. How do you want me to use it and when? They're gonna oh, yeah. they're gonna just ask for input. So like, yeah, you don't you don't need to tell them. Um, you you good. 
Um, yeah, I'm just letting you know that if you <clears throat> want to look over it, like you're scheming or something, it, it will be in your DMs. Great. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so Robin and Liam. <laughs> Liam and right. Robin. It's time to assign you guys sets. So, I'm going to ask a question. What type of character do you think your character is? Are they a tank? A bruiser? A technician? Or hashtag mage build? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's got the mage build, but none of the mage. <laughs> Functionally, I'm just asking, are you the type of character that put it all in health, a respectable amount in health and a respectable amount of s in stats, uh, the same thing but shifted towards stats rather than health, or all of it's in stats. Uh, I'd say. How, how do you imagine yourself? Robin would be mostly stats. Yes. She probably doesn't have much health, <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but then. Saying she has high stats sounds mm. wrong, too. <laughs> She's halfway between a technician and mage build. Lovely. <laughs> okay. How about for Liam? All health, baby. All <laughs> health, baby! Man after my own heart. <laughs> okay, Liam. Set yourself to 60 HP and add a plus one to every single one of your stats. Oh, lovely. Uh, <clears throat> let me see if I have a sheet. Uh... <clears throat> you should. Um, yeah, uh, then, uh, it. dear, dear, sweet, uh, begreened Robin, <laughs> uh, your stats are going to be, um, you can choose to, are you going to keep all your stats even, favor one over the other? Ooh. No. Uh, I think I'm probably going to favor my yellow. That makes sense. Okay, so you're going to rock in with a plus four in yellow. Uh, a plus three in blue and a plus three in red, if that's okay. And then 20 HP. Okay. Should I go onto my character sheet and... Already punched it in. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I can't see mine for some reason, so... Oh, okay, I got you. Robin's really being a hero this time, or trying yes. to be. She's, she's really doing her best right now. Um, okay. Plus one's on everything for Liam. And then 60 out of 60 health. This is very important. Okay, you finished your, okay. your tutorial. You got your stats, which means we're good. Okay. Now we can uh, die for real. Now you can yes. die for real. Finally, HP. The safety has been removed. Um, I've got to update one more character. Uh, Jackson and Mask, actually. Have you uh, used the bathroom? Are you all good? I'm ready. Oh, fuck yes. Lovely. Okay, then just give me half a second, and I'll be good to go. This is really like a Fire Emblem game where you guys just finished your tutorial and yes. now yeah. uh, and now the real game is starting. Uh, permadeath has been turned on. Tur permadeath has been turned Stop on. I play with permadeath. Oh. oh wait, that means if the enemies are hot enough, we can recruit them. <laughs> hey, <you> oh. <laughs> Imagine! I'm Fast your eyelashes. <laughs> I'm secretly an evil dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the evil we, dragon's we on know. your team. Yeah, I was gonna say, we already know where that person is. That's a riddle. <laughs> so does this have, a uh, breeding mechanics? Maybe everyone was deserved. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh man, session. Uh, this session's <laughs> gonna be fucking wild because um, you're probably <laughs> expecting to uh, get thrown back into the RTS or something, but uh, uh no. <laughs> um, <clears throat> in the fucking forward base. Set everything up. Verona. <clears throat> you guys are so mean to Robin. 
<laughs> so I, I think that's an important part of the game, Scott. Okay. So, like, <laughs> I, I think we shouldn't be mean to Robin. We should be mean to you. Though, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> why is Robin on the thing green and moving around? Because it's fun. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave her there, leave the map, and then come back, and we're gonna see what mischief she's it's... gotten up to do. <laughs> Dude, this, this is my sensory video. Same. Okay, in the forward base, <clears throat> you two are brought down here by. All right, hold on. <clears throat> uh, in a flash of flame you both manifest in the world below almost adjusting to the new sensation you look around the room as the forward base you were expecting to be a little more lively um uh you hear somebody slowly walk over as verona clears the distance and is like oh argos just on time um i can assist with any planning that you've got in the uh in the immediate helena is setting up doors throughout the derelict to jump us into any functional checkpoints that uh, our forward team has cleared. We should be able to get you in and up to speed briefly. Okay, because things are looking dicey on the surface. Yes. Um, things are looking pretty intense down here as well. She uh, shares with you the reports of what has occurred recently. Not only Circuit's death, but the fact that uh, Ace and Riddle are currently engaging Venter, the fact that Mike is deep within the derelict, and the fact that Rio Fenrir seems to have reared her head and is currently ambushing Willow and Basil. Fighting has broken out all over the area, and the area that we believed we killed Logic in is emitting strange readings. It doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like he's come back to life or anything. It just... Honestly... It seems unsurprising. It almost feels like his corpse is a gigantic bomb that's been activated. That is an issue for later, however. Let's resolve the issue with Eternity on the surface. Our main goal is to buy enough time for our forward team to force his hand and drag him down here. Right. But we don't... How are we going to force his hand? Well, the closer that Mike gets to the throne room the more of an actual threat we pose to the derelict. At a certain point, if he decides to simply let us have it, we win. And if he reappears, he takes the pressure off of the world above. It's win-win in the most morbid sense. And he'll be coming right for her. Mm. Which is why we need to get you over there. Yeah, we need an escape plan. Quick. <clears throat> and... <laughs> At this moment, too. <laughs> As if enough fucking things weren't happening at this exact moment. Oh. Cal, you uh you bring the uh you bring the stunned man back in through the door. <laughs> Come on, bud, just a bit further. Eve. No, no, not that one. That's uh, a little too peaceful. There you go. <laughs> um you uh you lead Colt in. He isn't saying much. Walking back the last bit of distance has been a little rough on him. Cal probably has just been quiet and stayed by his side. There's not really anything to be said at this point. Yep. You walk back through, you see a uh, petrified Andalene Vega immediately in front of you. That's normal. Um, and uh, Colt sort of like walks at your side and he like sort of offers you a hand like, ah, thanks. He just nods and he takes the hand. Yeah. He, he's sort of like, actually waves you off, sort of content to like stand on his own. He sort of stretches and starts to like walk back arching, just like sort of stumbles into the room. Makes his way forward. And then uh, he's gonna actually just like plop down in one of the tents. Oh shit, I'll move if like somebody's wounded and needs this. No, I... Don't, doesn't seem to be much of a push for the space. Cal's gonna squat and sit down next to him. You plop down right over there. As Argos, you hear Cal and Colt walk into the room. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look over the room. How's everybody looking who's here? Uh, you see a man that you've never seen before standing on a mountain of trash? That is not your problem. That's no. normal <laughs> opia business. Of course, they 
went to war and came back with one extra. Um, uh, it is Fire Emblem, after all. <laughs> yes. You disregard this man. He's not part of your calculations. Um, oh, boy. Morale shot over here. Um, obviously. Uh, these two over here were loudly bickering until they walked into the room and then they seem to have uh, sorted their shit out. Um, like, Melly is now sitting politely when she was hissing and biting ten seconds ago. Um, mm -hmm. Aura seems to have calmed down and, like, an almost awkward silence has fallen over the area. Like, it's the... Somebody walked in and it's, like, the directly bereaved and they're all <laughs> like... Ooh. Is anyone wounded? Uh, Melly, yes. Okay. Okay, gonna... you know what? Cal's getting to his feet. <sighs> I think we could all use a drink. Well, if anybody <laughs> asks me for alcohol, eh, he thinks about it. Well, I don't know. Well, we're a bit far from the bar, but I'll see what I can whip up. Hey, Colt, what you having? Uh, get me like a club soda. <laughs> you got it. Come on, people. I don't give out drinks for free that often. <laughs> he charges Gene says and like looks up and over at you. He's like oh Argos good to see you Gene hey if the joke doesn't work if you point out that their tabs are covered by opia <laughs> uh, he uh, like he like sort of like looks down at Melly he's like <clears throat> so you're come to, uh, coming to assist with the situation rushing off to back up Ace or something yeah, and I figure I'll play some doctor while I'm at it. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> well, you're like, oh my god, a hi, Argos. How's it going? Come on, fight that! Well, at start yelling. <laughs> That's the magic of medical science. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair. I was guarded against the one doctor, and then you brought in another doctor. Surprise, third doctor. <laughs> 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 Holy Ro shit. Rona moves over to the area and also helps tend to Melly's wounds. And she's like, Gene's hmm. like, why were you fighting us on this anyway? I'll just heal them. They make me stronger. Seriously. It's like a thing that happens with me. I'm a little stronger when I'm a little wounded and I had a good balance going and you're just topping my health off and ruining my strat. We don't want you to die. Or go shoot her again. Fifty <laughs> more chance to get wounded. <laughs> I'll wound you. <laughs> she yells. As nice. Every time you go to the doctor, uh, you get a sticker. <laughs> I think we need to sedate the patient. <laughs> oh God, please. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys, you guys, uh, tend to Melly, and you actually manage to top her health off. When she goes back into combat, she's gonna be good again, and uh, she's covered head to toe in stickers. <laughs> uh, Colt continues to sit there, takes his club soda. He's like, thanks. Uh, he like looks over to Argos, sort of pauses, blinks a few times. <clears throat> uh, give him hell out there. Yeah. <laughs> he sort of like offers you a nod. <laughs> seems to be the best that he's capable of uh, manifesting at this point, and then he has a split second that actually breaks through the shock and the stupor as he's like, the fuck's Riddle doing here? <laughs> Looking at Theo! <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's actually not Riddle. <laughs> oh, and I was going to try my Riddle Arendite impression. Oh, there will be Plenty of time for that at the after party. Don't worry. <gasps> Shocked. As, no, um... go for it. I can be gullible. <laughs> okay. Um. <S> science. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so science. No, the so, idea is no, you make sometimes... other people uncomfortable. <laughs> she does a little jazz hands. <laughs> sometimes you don't want to succeed. <laughs> sometimes it's best not to. <laughs> and at this juncture, something happens. 
Uh, somebody actually walks into your location carrying something. As you draw attention to Fio, you see somebody moving in with, well, the real Fio. <clears throat> she walks into the room and is like, <clears throat> before you draw guns, any attacks against oh. me won't work. I wasn't going to be the first one to bring a gun to this point at the anyway. Uh... Oh. Forgive me for being confused then. She looks past you and all of the doctors with guns. <laughs> oh no, it's oh. fine. Those are for medical purposes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a surface thing. <laughs> I I spent quite some time on the surface and no. <laughs> she pauses and she's like <sighs> She moves forward and is like, where can I drop this off? Uh... Um I guess right here, next to I, Riddle. I, I guess I can <laughs> yep. take her. It's me, Riddle, Arendite. Science! <laughs> <laughs> does love science. <sighs> Cal's gonna princess carry the Theo corpse, question mark? I'll just <laughs> oh. bring this over to Riddle for science purposes. <laughs> uh, Son Sonnet sort of stands there. She's like, why do we have this? Mm, I, fig I figure if she's going to wake up, she should probably wake up in a safe location. It'd be, mm, a sh you. it'd be a shame if she was either caught in the crossfire or held hostage by a particularly ambitious. She hunts for a word for eternity. Senior executive. Well, she looks over the room. <laughs> when she wakes up, um, do me a favor. Mm. Somebody else take credit for this. Somebody else found her body, brought it back. I don't care who. Just make sure it's not me. Oh. <laughs> Fio. I, I will tell her that, but she's pretty shrewd. She might figure it out. <laughs> Sonnet's eyes sort of open and she's like mm. well regardless uh, if you could pass along a message also wish her the best of luck and a happy life and then she starts to walk off she starts to walk Cal's gonna like looking at you Argos for like what do you want to <laughs> do at this point <laughs> Should we yeah. do something? <laughs> I, I look at, at Theo. Like Theo really is one. Theo's really just like confused mostly. He's like, why? Um, oh. I, I don't know. I uh, the only way to to the only way to find out is to ask. Theo in Riddle's body is like, um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> she turns around and looks like. Hmm. <laughs> glares across the room. Uh. <clears throat> Hi. I'm asking for Opia reasons why you are performing the action that you are currently performing. Why are you doing this? <laughs> she, uh, she stops and she's like, it's not really any of Opia's business. And then starts to walk again and feels like, mm, that makes a little squeak. I mean I know Theo pretty well, and it feels like <laughs> she'd want more clarification on on this, you know, for when she wakes up. <laughs> Give me a roll to do, Argus. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Love um, to see it. <clears throat> I, yeah. You want yeah. a d6? Yeah, take a d6, ma'am. <laughs> oh, you, you love to see it. Okay, okay, okay. She, uh, she sort of tops, stops, turns. You, you can tell something's up, and someone's like, Sort of exhales, she's like... The ability that the Queen granted me is exceptionally useful. It will... It makes it so attacking me and damaging me is almost utterly impossible so long as I take the same oath. Simply put, I'm waiting for an opportune time to break that oath. You all are... Lucky, I guess this benefits you. 
But for me, it's just getting even. Will you be okay after you break that oath? Mm. She sort of shrugs. She's like, odds are probably not, but it might create you an opening. You got one shot, so you're going to choose one to take it, huh? She nods. Well, Cal's going to eyeball a sidelong glance at Riddle. Yeah. <laughs> I have a pretty good idea that someone who is cared about enough to be brought somewhere safe, looking over at Fio's body, would probably care a lot about the one who did that. So, might be worth trying to stick around for their sake, if nothing else. Yeah, and you know what? Now we owe you a favor. So, if you need some help. Once the oath breaking time happens, come and see us. Oh, <laughs> she actually smiles and she's like, huh, yeah, I think I like that actually. She walks over and like sort of holds a hand out for you, Argos. Oh, I'm gonna shake it. You shake her hand and she's like, huh. you guys use comms, right? Yeah, do you want our number? Yeah, I uh, acted in a few movies on the surface. Um, I've I've got a hollow pad and everything. <laughs> what movies? Uh, well, um, she, uh, the big one's the blood we made. It's kind of trashy, but I put my all into it. You I have thought seen your performance really elevated it. Actually, <laughs> that, that was you. You're a really good actor. <laughs> you uh you remember actually seeing the um oh god hold on let me uh this is very important because we have a uh we actually have a movie poster for this <laughs> yeah we do yeah. uh you remember it let me make sure there's somebody on this map you actually uh <laughs> You remember seeing the movie poster and uh, almost double taking? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, it's not the type of movie you usually go in for, but looking over at Sonnet immediately in front of you, you actually feel a slight emanation of pride from her <laughs> uh, as she's like, yeah, no, I'm proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolute garbage. The thing went through total production hell for something like 12 years before it finally got made. Uh, you and Ace really transformed the material, I'll say that. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, also, secondarily, I am uh, I was uh, part of a bunch of sort of art house films from Sky Point. Um, primary one is a uh, romance, like it's a heroine dies at the end type of thing called La Intense. <laughs> she waves her hands around. Fia opens her mouth. I love that one. <laughs> wow, Riddle didn't know you were into Art House. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says, dropping the name intentionally. <laughs> okay, in that case... I'm going to head back to the surface. Feel free to contact me whenever. I'll stay on comms. She curtsies, walks away, and then disappears. Theo. Oh. Not easy being Riddle, huh? N no, I... No. no. That's why that no one wants to do it. Way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she turns around and is like, okay... Um, hey, uh, I don't really want her to die. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna die. Yeah. I think she's gonna, if she's in trouble, she'll come to us and we'll help her out. So? She better. <laughs> no, she has a hand on Colt's shoulder. You sit. And you wait. <laughs> you wanna, like, go back into your real body? <laughs> I 
I think it'd be smart at this point. Another wave of confusion is probably not good for anyone. Yeah. <laughs> you. Yeah, it's getting uncanny. You get yourself ready and... Trade Stupid. one corpse for another. Hey, Aura, get, let's get you something to drink. <laughs> and as you go about this, it's not five seconds later that you get a message from Sonnet. Oh. It's pretty much immediate. Let me do this one. <clears throat> and I bring you back to the RTS map. So, up here, Sonnet pops into existence up on the surface. She touches down and, uh, like, sort of looks out and over the area. She's like, <clears throat> I apologize for communicating so soon after we left things off, but it does actually seem like Opia could use some assistance here. Eternity's on the far side of the city. If I get close enough and I get the opportunity, I will take the shot. <laughs> Special condition! If Sonnet is ever adjacent to Eternity, she will take the shot and probably die. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> However, up until that moment, you are free to use my capabilities to your advantage. I'm willing to assist the rest of Opia, etc. Arrow pointing to her! Until that moment, Sonnet is an invincible unit! She can do anything in any area so long as it does not require causing any damage. Think of her as a phantom of the battlefield. She can go wherever she uh, you need her to go. As a result, I mark her with this. She is a support or specialist unit. These units all have a unique role that makes them not su suited to combat or defense, but instead a secondary function that can assist the team. On top of this, Argos, serve messages you and registers. <clears throat> Over there, we're picking up signals. Um, it seems like somebody sent out a distress beacon. But everything's garbled right now. Too many people trying to use the comms all simultaneously. We're not 100% sure what it is, but... Well, it's over there and potentially worth investigating. Event spaces! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you, if you assign a unit to investigate an event space, I roll a dice to determine what randomized event your RTS is currently undergoing. This could spawn additional demons, allies, or anything in between. Good luck! Oh, boy. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, Argos, uh, for all oh. of the units over here, they are not commandable or otherwise, so I am actually going to remove them from the map to clear things off, <laughs> to just make things Dead. a little more readable for you. You see the situation. How do you play it out? You're currently in control of this unit, okay. this unit, and this unit up on the highway. All right. Sonnet, uh, we, we've got some issues with extra compulsion bodies right now. To the east, is there, can you lock down that compulsion and make sure it doesn't come in contact with any civilians? Mm. She nods. If I spot any civilians on the, on the way, I'll let you know. She will head over and do that. She travels down this way, and in traveling, does actually manage to spot... Two civilians that uh, Compulsion is headed straight for. So, should I direct them somewhere else? Direct them to one of the, to the closest shelter, which is... Beep, 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 beep. Here. <laughs> Hold on, uh, mark it for me again. Beep, 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 There. Wait, I don't see where you're beeping, my friend. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where the shelter is. Oh, okay. Metaphorical beeping. Oh, metaphorical beeping. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I, th I thought you were pointing them <laughs> up to here. It's well okay, played. lovely. Okay, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> something there. Okay, uh, lovely. That's uh, that's the one over by the combat. Uh, so, I can actually... Uh, oh, I can we'll have it cleared you. out by then, certainly. Yes, I can actually do you a favor. Give me a second and a half. <laughs> I can beep for real. <laughs> Let me. You'd, you'd never. I would. Check this shit out. Uh. 
Bro, he, dude, he, he's doing it. I'm doing he's it. Doing it. He's charging up that beep. There you go. Whoa. Oh, okay. I'm gonna drop him on the map. Let's. Uh, one is. You would know the location of these shelters, so one's right here. One is okay. naturally beeped over here, and then there is one more over up here. Okay. Those are the locations of the three shelters on the map. Um, okay, send them to this one then. I send them to the one over by Justice. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, she will uh, direct them in that location. That will be Sonnet's action for this turn. Um, she's gonna hop down and go do that. Um, <clears throat> okay. Who's next? Uh, let's. Oh my god. <laughs> there's, there's too much. Yes. <laughs> I guess justice to keep uh, fighting, fighting there. He has to do that to keep moving. Justice is gonna move forward, wipe out this guy, and keep going. Then. Nice. He does that and travels in this direction. Yeah, I'm gonna want him to check out the distress signal. Ooh, okay. There's a You're question mark on the map. We know we got this. Yeah, gotta okay. Out. He's going to move his way over to the distress signal and over to the civilians. Do you want to... Basically, his path will be move over here, double back, get to the civilians. Should he uh, send them towards oh, the yeah. shelter? All right, Any civilians okay. send, send to the shelters. Okay, those two make it and disappear. These ones will do it next turn. Uh, Justice then walks over here and is going to make it over to this location. Jackson, roll a d10 for me. Ooh, okay. Um, I think you get the good one. Let me Yay. double check. Yeah, um, I think so too. You spawn uh, another Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Missing reflection. A civilian is located in unbound to reflection. If you guarantee their safety, they will hand it over to you. It spawns one civilian. When they make it uh, over to a shelter, they hand over the uh, the reflection. Oh, nice. Which uh, then can be equipped to another character. Um, okay. So, uh, yep, that's that's the event you got. I popped the event space. There you go. And then How I the go. How did you get that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Do not question. <laughs> um, and then I ping another one over here. And another one over here. Get that uh, to John Geist. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now all that's left is Breach. Okay, Breach. Mm. Um, I want her to move sort of this way. Yeah. To see if there are any civilians around. Uh, Intelligent. Uh, you, this body. You make Breach peek around the corner, and uh, as she does, it appears that there are none over by compulsion, but you actually look uh, back behind you, and you notice that there is a line of three this way, the second you touch down, taking uh, shelter under the overpass. So she touches down, and like, turns around, spots all of them, and it's like, Okay, uh, command. Should I call you commander? Argos is fine. <laughs> Argos. <laughs> <laughs> you you feel a smile sort of curl her lips. Uh, we've got a group of civilians here. Um, I can get them moving, but I think eternity is a little quicker. Similarly, compulsions bearing down on the location. What do we do? All right, I'm gonna need you to create a wall of earth to protect them. Okay. Uh, she's gonna wall off the area. And, with that, your turn ends. And the enemies start to bear down. This one starts to engage with Sonnet. Sonnet will simply keep her there. <laughs> um, this one is gonna start to close with Breach. She creates a wall of Earth. Uh, Breach is going to engage with this compulsion. These civilians move down this way. Eternity is gonna start to walk in this direction. And... Simultaneously, you get another buzz on your comms, Argos. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> As over here. You get another message. Hey, Argos! Game leader! Bruce, just who <laughs> I wanted to hear from. <laughs> yeah, like I got a good POV from up here. Uh, we got a compulsion closing in on the area. It seems like the center is mostly clear of demons right now, but I got bad news about the outer edges. She, uh, she sends you a feed as from up and over here, you see demons closing in and, um, it's like particularly bad news. We got one of the big ones coming this direction. Uh, Willa and I handled it last time, but, uh, no Willa right now, just as a warning. Um, second point, I guess. Uh, she draws your attention to the fact that around the edges of the map, demons are closing in. Yeah, it really looks like the center of the city is our best bet right now. Um. Okay, our, our primary concern is the compulsions and making sure that none of the, they don't contact any civilians. So I need you to check if there are any between any civilians between you and that compulsion, <laughs> the upper left. Uh, can do. Uh, second point, especially if we're se checking for civilians. Uh, you know how Willow has, like, two reflections? Uh-huh. During the whole thing up in the Silt Islands, I bound to a second one, too. Um, wow. this, this is a long way of me saying, do you want a meteor to just, like, hit the city? No. <laughs> but consider the tactical applications. <laughs> like, it can make it really big or, like, smallish. How small? Uh, like, you know, I probably would only level one building. <laughs> oh, well, actually. All right. It's good to have a cheat code in the back, po back pocket like that. Yes. So, uh, Ruth. Basically, you call in an airstrike. Uh, Ruth calls out a meteor. You choose the size of it. Um, and uh, it wipes out anything that it touches down on, buildings included. Uh, just well, gone. How accurate is this meteor, Ruth? Super accurate. You promise? I just, yeah, I, yeah, I totally promise. <laughs> okay. I and believe you. That... Thank you for your belief, boss. <laughs> yeah, so just tell me where you want it. It'll just take a little bit to arrive. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Serve, I need you to calculate the trajectory of that. I, I'm already I'm already working on it. It seems like her reflection is already handling most of the calculations, but I'll try to oh, come perfect. up with a I'll try to come up with a map of where it's going to hit. So, uh, you are allowed to use the draw tool to mark where the meteor is going to hit. <laughs> I, I need it to hit that big guy wherever he's going to be. Yeah, the problem right now is he's clinging to the side of a shelter because, like, I, I'll admit I was I thinking He's about on the it. shelter. He's, like, hanging on to that shelter. Yeah, I was thinking about it, man. Change of plans. Need the meteor right about here. <laughs> And, oh yeah, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> oh man, okay. Yeah, that's a shame. And uh Ruth, if there's no yeah. civilians yeah. like in in proximity to there, then I'm gonna need you gonna need you to go and deal with that big guy. Okay. Uh do you wanna make do you want me to make sure that that area is clear of civilians? Which area? The, uh, the area you marked for the meteor strike and like, I'm not going to yes. hold it against you but that is a place where they sold the monster trucks that I was going to spend my big opius uh, salary on. Like, I'm just saying Make it's him not... a small meteor. Listen, I, I'm a, they're very gentle beasts. <laughs> she starts running off in this direction and scouts the area and um, yeah, she uh she does manage to spot that there are <laughs> every time the Argos Ruth dynamic happens, I get so happy. <laughs> uh, down here, there are actually two civilians. She's like, okay, so I got to contain them in that area and make sure everything's good. Okay, okay, I can do this. And then, um, 
Or ghost one more time on the comms. <laughs> Blowing up my phone. Blowing up your fucking up? phone. As, this is on uh, ghost. As an unexpected uh, person chimes in, like, Hey, uh, uh, I'm, um, Colt's little brother, uh, member of the Neighborhood Watch. Do you need, like, defenses set up? What kind of defenses are we talking about? Uh, like, rocket launchers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All the excess stuff we've been holding on to, just in case things with Geist went south. I can start setting them up around the center area if it helps. Wow, I'm not even gonna... Ask any questions. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cole will simply do this. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. And that concludes your uh, your turn of the RTS. As the camera shifts back over here. And zooms into this mess. <laughs> okay. As Robin. As compulsion is called a nerd directly to her face, <laughs> you feel your blood run cold for a moment as you suddenly feel the danger that your life is in. Uh, it's the end of the act. You can keep a reroll if you want. Oh, yeah. Got a reroll. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot. I don't think I ignited last round. I don't believe so. so. Gonna... I think you just yeah. hit her. I'm going to keep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What is going on? <laughs> Robin! <laughs> I was planning to switch anyway, because Robin is fe feeling pretty self-conscious after her performance. Again, understandable. Uh, so, uh, you guys are getting yourselves prepped to fight Compulsion. Um, the area is currently locked down. Um, in this case, uh, hey, Compulsion... Oh, I gotta, I gotta drag you your actual character sheet. Uh, oh, I'm such a fool. I need to initialize her. There we go. The good old classic. You know how it be. It's gonna be like this. She locks in this one. There we go. Okay. Uh, so compulsion uh, will not go first. Uh, Liam, it's here we go. Okay, uh, let's see. So I now have a limp noodle in my hands. Yes, uh, <laughs> you do. <laughs> uh, uh, however, uh, these these uh, demon soldiers, as I remember before, are almost like almost clay-like and can yes. be uh, and can be uh, extremely supple. So I'm going to transform my wet noodle into a lasso. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, lovely. Um, Tagging it as a prop, naturally. Yeah, I'm going to switch to Bastion because yes. I don't need to move right now. And I'm going to free tag it as a prop to <laughs> lasso compulsion with her, with her own soldier. <laughs> you know, going to string it like fucking Daffy Duck in a car. Oh, <laughs> love to see it. Give me a roll to do. <laughs> yep. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Oh my you, god. Boom, 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 boom! Throw it forwards and you manage to lock her in place. Okay, she's engaged with you now, specifically. You deal <laughs> seven damage as. Well, she does get to. She does get to uh, clash with that. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, you can, uh, you can ignite to double damage or just leave it as is. Oh. Uh. I'm gonna be a good tank and not ignite yeah. right now. <laughs> Smart, she's not gonna do it either. She's just like, interesting. You wrap her up in the clay and she locks in place, uh, simply bound there. Who do you pass the turn to? Uh, I'm gonna pass it to uh, my cohort that's right next to me. All right. Well, I mean, things are looking good with compulsion all bound up, so. It wouldn't hurt to just attack her, right? It wouldn't hurt to just attack her. <laughs> just gonna attack her with countermand. You Ooh. move in. Oh! Are you going to perhaps push your roll? <laughs> I suppose I am. <laughs> ignite. Yeah, hit that ignite. Add and... 1d6.
damn, okay. Ooh. You managed to push past and Robin, tell me how you stop yourself from blowing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, she's tied up, so uh, it's pretty idiot proof. But like whispers to countermand. Come on, we gotta do this. Wait. <laughs> what a sonorous war cry. <laughs> You, uh, you whisper to Countermand, and for a split second, it feels like it connects to you. You, uh, your, your gaze almost swims with visions of a distant desert for a split second, and then you jut forward and attack. With surprising speed, you sweep through and manage to land a good blow on compulsion. The attack succeeds. Oh, there yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I have a weird, I have a weird, uh, sequence of rolls, <sighs> uh, that I need to make. Verona needs to roll. Oh. Mm. Okay. She did not roll high enough. And then Roma, are you there? Yes. What? Me? I need treble to roll. Okay. Hey, uh, is Verona still in the base? Could uh, it will not be enough. Yeah. Uh, okay. Trouble, give me a roll to die and then a roll to do. Oh, I'm like locked out of shit. Okay. Yeah. Um. You can uh, you can unlock and reroll. Okay. 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 Um. It's I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah. Roll to do. Roll to do. Yeah, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> trouble. You um, you you've been keeping up to date with the situation while infiltrating the derelict, and you have a split second of consideration about the proximity of this person and this person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do with that. You have a. You you can react to this. Do with it what you will. Yeah, so I think Trouble's gonna alert. Who is the listed commander of the people in this in this field? It's very technically Argos, but realistically speaking, right now everyone is under Robin's command. Okay, so, then, so then Robin, Argos, Danger, and Serve. I'll get a message from Treble, which is Treble is is warning you that you should probably be careful of getting compulsion too close to danger. She might specifically be trying to seek him out. What? <clears throat> danger is technically an A-Skeletine. And almost all A-Skeletines are bound in some way to compulsion, and she has sway over them. <clears throat> you register this, danger, and uh, I'm so sorry. Danger's like, what? What do I do? Robin? She's asking you. I don't know why. <laughs> You're technically in charge of this tiny subsect. Everything's going to shit. He's asking if you need help. What do you do? Run away! Okay. You give Danger the runaway order and he takes the fuck off. Uh, I move Danger onto the RTS map instead. Yay. Another piece. <clears throat> he exits the area and instead joins you all over here as he separates himself from this. The fight against compulsion gets that much harder. However, the strategy gets that much easier. Um, Argos, you can send danger in any direction. He gets a complete turn right now. Ooh, okay. Uh, why don't we send him down to that little question mark? Ooh, nice. Okay. Down to the south. Send him down in that direction. Okay. He'll make it their next turn. Very nicely done. Uh, okay, uh, back on Robin's map. Oh boy, I hope it's not a compulsion under that question mark. <laughs> yeah, that'd be unfortunate. I, I, yeah. was th I was thinking it, didn't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to rush off in that direction. Um, over here, I delete danger from the map. Uh, he is oh, running. Oh. At, he is running and crying and sniveling the entire time. Thank you very much, Trouble. Slip. <laughs> um... Breach uh, is going to... Uh, she rolls to die at the start of her turn. Um, no, she's keeping her prepared action. She's just staying exactly as is. Um, 
she's getting herself ready as um, Compulsion is going to. She draws her cane back. Uh, I need rolls to die from both Liam and Robin. Okay. That's a, that's a solid roll. Oh, uh, Liam actually clashed with me. Oh. Two to 25, okay. my friend. Oh, boy. Uh, roll to do. Yo! <laughs> Yo, oh, but nice. he does, though! Okay, Robin. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, Liam, in this case, you will deal seven damage to Compulsion. Her attack will not move through on you. As mm -hmm. um, she, uh, she reaches forward ducks a hand down and actually grabs a segment of this creature and mm. swings it, sweeping it through the area. Um, she is going to hit uh, you for... Uh, she gets hit for seven when you describe your counterattack. She is going to turn and hit uh, Robin for seven as well. Can I? Because mm. uh, I got... Okay, hold on. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Mm -hmm. Look at my sheet. Uh, so I have yeah. Strange Reverend... Uh... Would you consider that uh, Robin is within two squares of me? Yes. Yes. So uh, I have a prop right in hand yeah. right now, and that yeah. prop is also wrapped around compulsion. So I will basically, as my counterattack, yank her into me um, <laughs> to, to, to like to essentially clothesline her and prevent the attack against Robin. So get that attack from Robin to me, and if that's possible. Love to see it. Okay. Um, she, the attack, you and feel it, okay. yeah, 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 before yeah, you yeah. do that, yeah, I believe you've declared an attack, but I it have declared gone an through. attack and it has not gone through yet. Robin has an ability called Counter Strike. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. So you're yeah, gonna achieve? An... Yep. Since, uh, since Compulsion made an attack right next to her, she gets to make a free attack on Compulsion. And we heat things up. Okay, you're at red heat. No more stabbing. Oh my god, uh, synergy. Give me, give me that free attack. <laughs> Swing! Uh, you can lock in one of your dice. You can take that yellow five from your roll to die. Okay, I'll do that then. <laughs> give me a roll to do. Swing! The attack travels straight towards compulsion as you yank her out of the way, stopping the corruption from going through, and she'll receive a penalty on this. Uh, the attack is still... The attack still would have been a success. Oh, she, uh, she repeats it against you. Um, yep. give me, uh, give me another, uh, roll to do, Liam. You guys are actually a again. terrifying team. Yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Uh, and she gets a penalty of nine. So Compulsion's only beating you by one. Are you going to push it, Liam? Oh, uh, hold on. I'm in Bastion. Let me see if uh, yeah. I can do anything. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. I can... Uh, block is one ignite, right? Block is one ignite, exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, block Block only reduces damage, right? It's not yes. a... Not the the attack is going to go through, and you get the feeling there's a nasty status but, effect. Uh, there's still dodge. Yes. Dodge, you can... right. You guys are, it's technically a 10 versus an 11. Robin sliced her and penalized the roll for nine. So, mm -hmm. uh, so if I roll to, if I ignite to dodge and make my defense uh, worse on the next one, can I uh, dodge yes. this one? Uh, okay. She will also roll to push this, which I think is funny. Uh, and okay. if you guys meet again, you escalate because this is a clash. Mm, then instead, I'm going to block. <laughs> um, <laughs> Stand I'm gonna block all. instead and uh, <laughs> use my uh, 2d6 from uh, Bastion. Yes. Okay, so I get I use my free ignite to do that. Um, and uh, I wait, no, I can't because I use my free ignite yeah. to tag the prop before. So, so I you got a you got a straight up normal ignite. Yeah, I got a straight up normal ignite, uh, and I clash again against her, and I will add 2d6. Okay. Yes. She can take so that. Uh, and yep, then... just give me, uh, just give me 2d6. 2d6. There we go. 7. Okay, so you're preventing 7 damage. Okay. Um, you will take, math, 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 uh, uh, you take 5 damage as right. the attack travels through and you feel, um, you feel your body feel cold for a split second and then incredibly warm. Um, uh, she marks you with that, and I'm not gonna explain what that does. Um, All right. <laughs> your body, your body feels strange. Uh, 
Pixie's uh, set action goes off, uh, heal the five damage. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Doing she tops you build. off. Yeah, you guys are literally trying to do tank DPS healer right now on compulsion, <laughs> which is very funny. Okay, uh, end of act, keep her reroll. It's your choice. Uh, you can choose. Ru you're keeping? Uh, okay. Yeah. I have to reroll because I ignited. Yeah, so I, uh, <clears throat> yep. Am I still locked out? Uh, you would be locked in, uh, you would be able to lock back in at the start of your next turn. So yeah, you're still locked out. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, in this case, yeah, she's moving over there. Um, uh, Pixie gets to go first. Uh, she is going to start shooting. Compulsion rolls to die. And, uh, the shots travel one after the other. As the spray from Pixie's minigun tries to cover the area, and Compulsion drops to the ground and moves like a spider, almost appearing over here, letting the lasso drop to the ground. Pixie passes it to Liam. Ooh. Whoa! That's <laughs> weird. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have a nasty thing. I don't know what it does. So uh, I'm playing Liam. He doesn't give yeah. a shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he is He's going to stay in Bastion mode because uh, right now he still have people adjacent to him and all that. Yes. Uh, and he's gonna use his. Uh, okay, question. Um, yeah. The the free ignite. Maybe I'm just not reading yeah. well. Uh, but like the free ignite. Is it just on my turn, or is it? Uh, also, it can is... I also use it defensively? Once per act, you can use it defensively uh, on your turn or not. Okay, cool. Then I'm just gonna normal attack her. Uh, well, I'm gonna. No, actually. Uh, I'm going to try to keep her pinned, so Ooh, I'm going nice. to attack her and ignite with the free ignite to uh, lasso her again. Um, love to see it. Actually, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't use a prop. No, I guess I did it before, so yeah, I'll yeah. just do it again. Okay, uh, so roll to do. Give me that roll to do. Eh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you, you try to lock her down, and uh, again, she keeps moving. She's sliding around through the area. She slides free, picks herself up. Who's her next, Liam? I'm going to give it to Robin. All right. Robin is, of course, going to sheathe her yes. blade. Or it, does it get automatically... You ignited for any reason. Did you sheathe it when you ignited it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely. Okay, so sheathe this whole time. And it resets to this, cools, and builds to ammo as it converts the raw heat of your slice earlier into shells. Okay, lovely. You've managed to cool your blade slightly. I like this gameplay, actually. This is sick. <laughs> this is very cool. Cool, cool system. <clears throat> okay. Guess... Yeah, I'm just going to shoot at her. <laughs> Shoot at her. Give me that roll to do. Ooh, my God. Ooh. Oh, you clash and beat her. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, Robin. What's the plan? <laughs> you can ignite to double the damage, or you can just punch through and leave it as is. <sighs> uh, she's feeling heroic. It's time to ignite. Okay. Let's go. Uh, you're going you're gonna to double the damage as you... Unload a few strong shots into... Yeah, give me some narration. How you uh, turn this sheathed weapon into a gun and get her. All right. Uh, Robin takes a knee. She It feels like Compulsion is running away. She did some good damage last time. She's, yeah. she's in the zone. She's going to take a knee and aim. And uh, not that far away, so kind of hard to miss. She... She scores a nice, solid hit. Boom! Okay. It, hits, it hits her shoulder. Uh, compulsion sort of grips it, as she seems actually a little shocked. And I then could... a strange word utters from her lips. Interesting value. And she whirls her uh, cane around and taps it on the ground. Uh, Liam, roll to die for me. Oh, boy. Value, I, value, I, value. I should uh, unlock roll. blue, right? Yes, you should unlock blue. Okay. Okay. Yellow. Uh, Liam, lock your yellow stat. I see. As your body begins to split and change almost. It's a horrifying experience, but 
almost reinforced by, um, well, the experience that you've had uh, with Strange Stranger to begin with, your head almost splits in two and a twin emerges from you. Um, oh. Let All me right. uh, tint this. It touches down on the ground, slops together, rises, and then is going to rush Robin. <laughs> okay. Liam, 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 Liam. Liam, Liam. <laughs> so, with her yellow, uh, Robin, give me a uh, give me a roll to die versus this. <clears throat> okay, uh, the attack travels straight towards you, Liam. Are you gonna ignite to help this at all? <laughs> yes, uh, I'm going. I am in Bastion, uh, and I have the uh, the the strange reverend thing, so I don't need yes. to ignite to have the strange reverend thing. And Robin is within uh, within two spaces, so. Uh, I uh, literally, uh, fucking, uh, not even a prop, just fucking <laughs> uh, body block this shit, uh, and then I'm gonna, that would put me down to one thing, that's fine, I'm still full HP, so then I'm gonna ignite for real again, um, let me just get that shit back, because I did it in a weird way, uh, yes. so there we go, so now I'm down to one uh, attribute, um, and uh, to uh, basically block and have oh like fuck mix, yes! Um, you this. so the narrative is it splits off from you, touches down. Robin starts yelling, Liam, 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 as you watch yourself charge at her and you get in the way. You raise your arms and you block. Give me those two d six. All right. Uh, so I I roll to die and then two d six. Yes. So exactly. roll to die and then two d six. The dice will not come unlocked until this creature is defeated. 2d6, 5 damages. You uh, you would take 6 damage in this case as you raise your arms. Stop, well, 6 reduced by 3. 3 damage in this case as you raise your arms and stop this beast from biting and grabbing you. All right. Uh, so <laughs> I'm down. Uh, sorry, I got I confused myself. Down to yeah. how many H points? Uh, how many H points do I lose? Uh, you only take 3 damage. Okay, only take 3 damage. Lovely. You... Uh, tap, tap, tap. She moves over, and she is going to aim her cane at your chin. Give me a roll to die, Robin. Liam, you can lock in a dice off of the block that you just did if you want to protect her again. <laughs> I am, uh... <laughs> 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 I mean, blocking literally himself from Robin sees that shit going on in the background. God fucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's like the weird of like, um, there's a weird movement where he suplexes himself uh, <laughs> to put it in the way. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna unlock his red and then relock his red to take the head <laughs> You, you use your strange brethren to sweep over and you manage to cover for Robin again as, uh, in this case, um, there would be no block this time. You would simply take three less. Uh, eight damage. Eight damage, okay. And, uh, I mark you with the same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> As you see Liam's body shelter you again, Robin, what are you thinking? What is going on in your brain? This is just like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a kaiju fight going on. Ping <laughs> <laughs> Ping burn die. <laughs> God, I actually fucking love this. Okay. Uh, this episode, Liam fights himself mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Liam fights himself. Robin trips and falls on her face. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Liam. Yeah. I uh, heal back to full exactly. Pixie. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Pixie. Uh, compulsion's head turns towards Pixie. <laughs> He's you like motherfucker. He's like <laughs> you specifically are gonna be an issue, huh? <laughs> just, fucking, just sucking like my eyes, your eyes, like compulsion. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> the turn ends, end of act. Who's keeping? Who's re-rolling? <laughs> oh I my re god! I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is insane! <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna get back to one attribute real soon. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Okay.
Okay. <laughs> okay, Robin. Uh, no, Pixie's staying. She gets, uh, she gets control of the turn first. She's delaying her action. She's keeping that minigun fucking trained, set and ready. Uh, you hear a call from her. Um, Robin, keep up the damage. Liam, keep tanking. We will whittle her down eventually. Our resources are replenishable. Hers aren't. Um, she passes the turn to you, Robin. <laughs> Fucking face full of himself. I'm trying! <laughs> <laughs> You're yes, doing man. great. <laughs> Robin's gonna get some distance from walking, <laughs> gnashing teeth and yeah. muscles going on. <laughs> Honestly, smart start of your turn. I lower your heat by another one. Not so to yeah, green! Liam's little arm is like reaching for Robin. <laughs> <laughs> You are now at four bullets. Okay. And your heat is now uh, very low. Okay, up to you. Your turn. All right. I'm just going to standard rifle blast it. Uh, Give me a roll to do. Here. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay. Hey, it's a number. Compulsion will... She's right now like this. Okay. Uh, You actually... Yeah, you win. Um, The attack travels past <clears throat> her guard barely, pinging her for a five as... <clears throat> The attack locks in, and she will grab this one. Um, uh, she almost seems to disregard you for a split second, turning towards the healer. Okay, uh, who's who's turn next? Robin. Uh, uh, let's give it to Liam. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, 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 I think I'm gonna try to keep my free ignite for defensive purposes. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. Actually, I need to read something really quick. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, it's whenever I tag a prop. Okay, so I can't do this. Uh, can't do this. Uh, okay, so then I will. Oh God, what can I do? Um, I think I'm just gonna move to be in the way uh, yeah. first. So I'm just gonna move here. Um, you move there and stomp over this being. It's destroyed instantly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna essentially, while still having myself in a headlock, uh, <laughs> try to punch her. <laughs> Give me a roll to do. <laughs> All right. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, you can lock in something first. Oh yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Roll to die. Please, God, get her ass. Uh, this Lock is relevant. In. Because uh, I will reveal one section of the mechanic. She cannot remove the dice that's currently locked in via this. Oh, I <clears> see. <throat> okay. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, do I get... roll again or? Uh, yeah, give me a uh, give me a roll to do now. Okie dokie. Okay. Nope. <laughs> the attack travels towards her and she <laughs> sidesteps it, simply ducking and weaving, moving out of the way. Who's next, Liam? Uh, let's see. Robin just went. Yeah. Uh, Pixie is basically waiting on yeah. stuff. Um, I'm gonna do a weird play. Yeah. I'm gonna pass it. Let me get my. Let me get my uh, my line. Uh. To this guy. Oh my God! You're gonna... tagging. Okay, you're tagging in and some I'm... civilians. Lovely. And, uh, no, uh, the, oh. the 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 one. Um, Fuck, uh, Esper Core. Esper Core. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna be, and I'm, he's literally, and he's literally just gonna say the thing that Esper Core are known for doing. Fucking isolate the area! <laughs> he starts to create a barrier that's very smart. As you try to lock shit down, he, he struggles to the best of his ability. As this guy Scar runs over and sets himself and he's like, you feel a, a shot of suppressive fire ring past you. Is it enough to hurt compulsion? No. Um, as the Esper Corps locks this area down, another Esper Corps member runs over, throwing his hands up. He's going to join in. She runs over, throws hers up, and uh, the, you watch as the barrier springs up around you, uh, sectioning that segment of the area off. She looks over. They're quite effective. The suits are built to channel their flame. Interesting. 
And hold on. I don't like that tone. <laughs> uh, Robin, you'd feel another peel of gunfire from over here. And I'm going to grab another character. I'm sorry. I'm I'm grab I'm dragging everyone fucking in. Basically, these guys are going to show up and do supporting fire. They might be able to land a hit on her if they're lucky. Uh, they are not lucky. She is a god. <laughs> in the middle of getting shot by everyone, she uses you and the other Liam as cover, moving through the area. Uh, who next, Liam? Uh. Oh, right, that was a tag, not an actual turn. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna give it, uh, fuck it, I'm gonna give it to Pixie. Lovely. Okay, that guy's suppressive fire, that guy's... Okay, we're good. Um, uh, all of the, the Esper Corrin guys are all working together. Pixie's going to take her turn. Uh, she's, her action set, she's not gonna do anything. Okay, all that's left is compulsion. Um, <clears throat> no, wait. <laughs> One man runs from up here. <laughs> <laughs> he returns with an echo weapon. The hero. He looks over at the two Liams. Which one do I shoot? <laughs> <laughs> and then he oh. fires and boom, it flies past and hits fucking no one. <laughs> <laughs> it shoots into the building behind, not even waiting for an answer. Uh, he's like, are they both evil? <laughs> <laughs> Just go with compulsion. <laughs> oh, okay. He's going to train his gun over on her. Uh, it's her go. Oh, man. She's going to start trying to walk over to Pixie. She's going to move here. Uh, she's going to lock out a dice and make it here. And then she's going to, uh, you, you know the deal. You know what she's about. Roll the die. She's going to reach out. Uh, take her cane, tag Pixie. Uh, I'll reveal Pixie's health bar as she moves forward. There we go. Uh, can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one is going to hit for doink as tap and a pulse travels through Pixie's body. I wanna, I wanna make something clear about how much HP Liam has versus how hard this person hits. Um. Liam's health bar. I'm gonna show it to the. I'm gonna show it to the audience, and I'll actually, I'll show Robbins too. Uh, Liam's has been dancing at like this percentage. Uh, Pixie gets tapped once for this, and her body starts to uh, pulsate, feel hot, and then cold. <clears throat> there we go. Oh boy. Mark her with that. Um, compulsion is going to wait and uh, end her turn there. <clears throat> end of the act. You feel the pressure building as uh, Compulsion is going to... You know what? She, yeah, she's going to blow one of these. Um, she wants that healing effectiveness to drop. Uh, she's going to pop one of her symbols and uh, before the end of the act, you know what time it is. Oh, boy. Um, she is going to lock out Pixie's uh, red. Or, no, she'll lock out the blue. She didn't like the blue. And then we get a blue tinted pixie. Okay, lovely. Uh, this blue tinted pixie spawns next to her and stands. Compulsion gestures around and uh, <clears throat> sort of preps herself. It seems like she's preparing something rather big this turn. Um, okay, uh, end of the act. Reroll or keep? I have to reroll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, pixie's keeping. Oh, I'm keeping mine. Nice. I gotta lock out. Okay. Uh, Pixie's keeping. And uh, she's gonna be smart. And uh, pick up on what you did last turn, Liam. And go yeah. um, and let out a call. <clears throat> Everyone, shoot the other one. And then take a step backwards. <laughs> and just... <laughs> Uh, this one only has a 1d6's defense, so, uh, the maximum it can roll is, like, a 6 or a 7. I'm just gonna go versus a 6, versus a 6, versus a 6, versus a 6, versus oh. a 6. Oh. Uh, all of the Geist guards, including John Geist, turn and just shoot the blue pixie to death. Amazing. Ooh. She's gonna unlock her blue and get it back. She preps her minigun again and is going to lock down, delay, set in action. Um... 
she's gonna prep herself to heal, and if nobody needs it, just, you know, uh, slurp the girt herself mm -hmm. at the end of the turn. <laughs> um, and then she'll pass it to uh, Robin. All right. Uh, Robin is going to run up to this other Liam. Nice. <laughs> and time to help my bro out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She'll draw her sword and attack with it. I guess. Lovely. Okay. Uh, normal style. Normal style. No extra dice. Or. Uh... <clears throat> Are you going to heat this shit up at all? But there's only one thing I can do to yeah. add heat. Yep. It's uh, it's using hey. your two points two of points ammo three. and adds one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hell, I might as well. Yeah, I'll pop that yeah. two points of ammo. Use impulse <laughs> to get an extra... Extra swing? I'll, I'll deal with that after I... Uh... Maximum roll is a seven. Uh, oh, Jesus. Okay. You leave my friend alone. <laughs> <laughs> you duck down. Give me your second attack. It won't matter. Nice. Okay, oh. 10 damage. You slice through. And uh, tell me how you get it. Tell me how you cut this one apart. All right. Well, I, very carefully so as not to harm the real Liam. Uh, Robin is filled with like a burning desire to help the person who's really been with her and supported her the most to this point. Like it flashes before her eyes all the times that like Liam has been supportive or just looked out for her or tried to include her. And she's, she gets motivated. <gasps> <laughs> That's a huge cross slash to <laughs> divide this, this faker. You, <laughs> Slice the creature in front of you to pieces and they drop to the ground. Uh, Lim, unlock your yellow stat. Oh, hell yeah. And I'm going to say that uh, compul you feel compulsion let out an annoyed sound as you get the feeling that this turn, her plan was hardening the yous that were made out of goo into additional yous that were on her <laughs> side. <laughs> You touch down and look over, Liam. Robin's standing there. <laughs> I, he fucking looks at you and says, Hell yeah! Knew I ha knew you had it in ya! <laughs> I've got your back! <clears throat> you... You that get your... I always knew. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, you're up next! Beast mode! <laughs> 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 Give me a roll to do! Fucking gorilla stop over there. Uh, I'm gonna roll to do. I'm gonna use my free tag to tag to. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tag compulsion as a prop. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> <cold> smash. <laughs> uh, so I get what plus one d six. I think that's how it yes. is. Yes. Uh, okay, for an attack. Okay, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna roll to do normal and then add one d six. Okay, plus one d six. There you go. <clears throat> Lovely. Bam, 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 bam. You slam her off of the uh, off of the floor as you watch bits of the armor sort of crack and pull away. Uh, the act ends as Pixie. Is also, that's going... double damage because I'm in beast mode. I can Ooh, forget. <laughs> wait a second. Okay, six. Yeah, six. Okay. You bounce her off the ground and she holds still for a second. Uh, turn ends. Pixie is going to blast herself. She's only going to heal for a little bit because uh, her other dice was locked out. Um, no, it'd be actually two less than that. There you go. Um, she heals herself for a little bit as uh, she blasts herself with the minigun. And uh, end of the turn. Uh, Liam, Robin, and Pixie, I'm going to give you all a chance to respond to this. You all get a roll to, that, uh, roll to do. Okay. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, Pixie and Robin, you're the you're the two that are able to pick this up. As she lies almost face down on the ground, it seems like this compulsion body is it's almost like a sixth sense spreading through you. Robin, you feel something borderline tugging at the back of your mind. 
feels to some extent like it feels like the sensation that they promised you when your ESP would awaken, but something's a little wrong about it. It feels off, incorrect, unusual. It feels wrong and cold. It feels like tendrils are reaching into your mind, and you see it clearly. Your sixth sense being able to perceive what is currently emitting from Compulsion's body. Long tendrils that are reaching out through the area. You can tell. Throughout this entire block, a gigantic bomb of burn is about to go out. And you've seen what that does to people, particularly when this pyromancer is concerned. Both you and Pixie have a chance to react or yell orders to others. What do you do? Oh my god. Yes, Robin! Make a decision that could save everyone's life or cost them it. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what do you do in this mo what does robin do in this moment man i guess the uh the classic shooter gun into the air <laughs> and say get away <laughs> please oh my god I uh you fire your gun into the air, yelling, go away, please, as... Uh, give me a roll to do. Okay, uh, that will shove back most of the civilians. Um, Pixie, uh... Oh my god, Pixie's about to ask Liam a fucked up question, but she, uh... <clears throat> uh... <laughs> um... She looks over to Liam and is like, Hey. He, uh, he looks over. <laughs> Today is as good a day as any. You say that as she gestures with her head over to the Esper core and she's like, Formation C. And they dive backwards as the Esper core moves forward and uh, focuses the dome in on you three exclusively. A barrier of ESP starts to build and focus around you. And I gotta roll some dice really quick. Okay. Of course. Okay. A barrier of ESP builds up around each of you as the dome starts to form. The old protocol for handling demons. The area would be shelled to nothingness, but in this case, the guns aren't pointed at you. Your lives, however, Likely our forfeit thrown in front of a pyromancer. However, in this one moment, one man jumps forward, <laughs> joining the procession as the dome hardens, the possession traveling outwards from uh, Compulsion's body. But out here. <clears throat> Serve shares the report. I'm sorry, the fights seem to be going good, but something's wrong, Argos. Communication's been cut off. It seems like they're forming an ESP dome. Okay. That's... They must be trying to isolate... Compulsion. The normal protocol when something like this happens is to shell the... Shell the thing into oblivion, but we have people on the inside. Okay. We... We can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Surf hesitates for a moment. It'd be a kill on a pyromancer, guaranteed. Necessary sacrifices and the like. We can't. We're playing hardcore. We're not. We're not making that sacrifice. We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. He he, he full body winces. Is like you're correct. We just trust to those. Uh, trust it to those currently caught within the dome. And uh, you look at um. You look at the readings. As communication is cut off on the inside of the dome, uh, the last message sort of going through to the brave members of the Esper Corps and uh, John Geist that are currently trapped inside, best of luck, come back alive. Uh, Breach mirrors the message as uh, the communication flares up to each of you, but you also noticed, uh, you also notice on your... Um, on your display, a shadow 
moving towards the area at incredibly high speeds. It flies over almost at the speed of a jet plane, flying over the city and buzzing past, almost pausing for a moment over the exact area of the dome. Something drops into the area exactly as the dome covers itself up, cutting itself off from the rest of the world. Back to you, Robin. In that moment, you know what is supposed to happen in this instance. You know that this area is supposed to be shelled into non-existence, but you also trust the heroes of Opia enough not to do that, which means, simply put, it is you three, you four, and her. You look over as the shadow darkens the sky for a split second. All of the buildings rattle nearby. And, um... One more figure joins your perception, uh, your procession. Not someone you expected, but just the same. Dunk! A body touches down <laughs> as a man places his hand on John Guy's soldier, uh, sh shoulder. You've done excellent work so far, soldier. <laughs> Let's keep up the pace. The man grips his shoulder and rips his shirt off. He picks up both of his arms. CEO 5 joining the battle. Oh my god, you fucking everything. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Good I want you to know, squad. <laughs> I've been sitting there knowing, <laughs> knowing that he was coming for you. <laughs> I was not afraid, even for a moment, because I knew, I knew reinforcements were coming. <laughs> so, later, whatever. It's this so fucking fun. crew, man, love it. Oh, I was like, oh, dude, it's Ascalon. Ascalon's gonna be coming in the <laughs> <laughs> No. Imagine. Oh, five. <laughs> Listen, it's it's the time for all of the NPCs to shine. Even the ones that you don't want to. <laughs> CO5 comes into scene, puts his straw hat on Robin's head. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. My god. Hey, wait, oh yeah, let me change it to the fucking screen read. Chat. Hey, Chad, CO finds one audio line when he comes in. Oh, that's it. Mm. <laughs> CO5 is one of those fucked up classes you see in JRPGs that cost money to use abilities instead of Yeah, money. yeah, absolutely. God. He's the Yojimbo summon. Uh, oh, that's finally. Good. Dude. What the fuck? <laughs> How are you enjoying the session so far, gamers? It's pretty good. I, I'm loving it. Baby team is really fun. Yeah. The synergy, like, you guys genuinely have a lot of synergy. The Pixie, yeah. Liam, Robin trio yeah. is kind of, like, yeah. really good. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Because, like, when I made Robin's kit, I, what I wanted was for her to almost have stall ability, where, like, because she can swap between her two stances, right? She can, uh -huh. like, kind of hold the line for a long time as long as she doesn't go down. Like, she just does consistent damage for an extended period of time, uh -huh. you know? And Liam is there. Good, yeah. yeah, Liam is there to make sure that she can keep doing that forever. And then Dude. Pixie's there to make sure that Liam can keep doing that forever. <laughs> I, I really like the way you, uh, your guys' mechanics are working. Like, it's, it's uh, yeah. a really unorthodox but interesting tank DPS healer. It's like, like, yeah, it's like, it's, we, we formed the classic formation the weirdest way possible. Yeah! <laughs> Genuinely, it feels like it matches this future setting really well. Anyway, I've got to make a version of the Robin map really fast that's trapped in a bubble. <laughs> so give well, me, uh, give me a second I can, I can, I can do this for you. Oh, thank you. That uh, would, uh, uh, here's the thing, Jay. Yeah. It's not that hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We've already made the ESP field asset. We simply <laughs> need to place it. Oh my god, thank you. Yippee. Oh my god, everybody having fun? I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm having a goddamn ball. <laughs> this is so fun. I am loving it. That was just a really fun encounter. Like, you guys it's are really, doing it's so good. It's just really fun to play, yeah. <laughs> Beaten ass. Beaten ass. I'm having a dome. 
this is the hypest shit ever. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm... What color ESP did the Esper Core members have? Uh, let's go. Let's roll a 1d3. Uh, red. Got it. <clears throat> Thank God it's not green or else it move. <laughs> no, I want to know that, that you... during all of this, I've just been like going down to the bottom corner and I have a bunch of civilians sitting there. Yeah. And I, I'm like, okay, just to like check, I clicked all of them onto the other colors. They don't move. But Dude. I had four different guys on green and they've what all the disappeared. Can you, <laughs> can you do something for me? What's that? What? Uh, on the break screen, can you drop an ESB field and put green on it for me? Uh, yes. Absolutely. I'll, yeah. I'll do this for you specifically. I want to see it schmooze. I think it'll okay. Be <laughs> okay. I'm back. That I Welcome want. back. I'm having a Welcome fucking back. great time tonight, everybody. <laughs> this is really oh, fun. Jay, what is the name of the map that they are on? Uh, it's called Robin City. Okay. Sorry. Robin City, Welcome baby. Welcome to Robin City. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Be free, Riddle's ESP field. <laughs> <laughs> fucking beautiful, man. <laughs> I just wanted to see In its natural again. habitat. <laughs> it's a fucking screensaver. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is it gonna oh, it's the gonna bounce into oh, the corner. Oh, there's a guy yeah. that's green on the Robin map that I didn't. I, I don't know where he came from because all of the guys I've set to green. Oh my god! The... <laughs> Wait, What's another happening? lady. Uh, one of the green ladies I had just walked back onto screen from the bottom of the map. <laughs> no. And another one of them no. was just walking up. What the did street. I miss? <laughs> now, what I am going to say is. Probably stop doing that because last thing I want <laughs> is for Roll 20's RAM to still account for these green people moving <laughs> that we can't really erase. Right? Set them if free. Moving, if they're moving off map, and then it will like lag I've our Roll 20's green, for some reason. I've taken the green off of the guy. Um, the lady has walked back off the map. You can escape. No, 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 no. No, get back here! <laughs> Got oh Take the God. shot. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna prep up some more of the maps. Uh, is this good on the map, Jay? Let me see. Oh, uh, on Robin City. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, yes, that's perfect. To Robin City. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it on the map layer. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna hide everybody else on the map. Um, so, uh, basically, here's how we're gonna do this session. Uh, I'm going to keep playing so long as we have the energy, and we're just gonna end it when we end it, like we do. And uh, starting next session, it's back to normal session, normal cast, etc. We will continue to address the events that happened here. They do have a natural conclusion point, but... I'm not going to run everyone until we run out of stamina. Plus, I want to keep having fun with this, so I'm not going to I'm not going to just be like, mm, "Done." <laughs> so, mm. we're basically going to play till we're good. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. In this case, <sighs> Oh, right, I got to drop CEO 5 on the map. Important. The most important character. <laughs> the fact that it's literally only green for no apparent reason is just why. Well, <laughs> it could be more things that we just haven't discovered yet. Yeah. I'm delightful, honestly. The character down there. Okay. Jay, you gotta update this, uh... This what? <laughs> the the fan art or uh skeb. Oh roulette, yeah, you're right, you're right. Roulette. Yeah. yeah. It's Gotta a lot of beautiful art to show. Get new angry Mike. You know what you should <laughs> do, Jackson? Yeah. Have a good day. Oh fuck. Oh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> There's less than an hour left of it, but I'll try. <laughs> I, look, I look over at the stream to um, be like, oh yeah, it's all old skips. I haven't seen them in a while. I look over at the stream, Circuit's face on the screen, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Reminder that's of like my it. sins. Uh, <laughs> please remove Circuit from existence. <laughs> <laughs> Delete her from history. 
No, she's fucking words and deeds. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I know how I'm handling this. Um. Okay. <laughs> Turn her into obelisk then. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would be your tombstone. Oh no, this is sad. <laughs> uh, this <laughs> is is mine. Fucking sad, man. Fucking lighten up, kids. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking anime did the obelisk chan bit and then once the character dies makes the tombstone a fucking obelisk i would clap at like a gorilla <laughs> <laughs> okay i gotta i just gotta set up a few more things now that things have gone a direction keep keep buying me a little bit of time have gone a direction Brian, i want to show you something i'm gonna send it to you in dms can i oh, see okay it? no you can't why not Cause it's a spoiler. What? The spoiler is not in this game. Good reference. Yo, is that a motherfucking reference? Oh my goodness, that's lovely. My love it. <laughs> I thought cinematic. you would like it. Yeah, no, I love it. Sounds <laughs> pretty cool. All my, oh my <laughs> I, I sure hope we don't have uh, 133 viewers who also can't view it with me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see it, it may be going up on the Patreon some point soon. Tap snows. Tap snows. Wow. Well, is or isn't it? It will probably be going up on my Patreon soon. There. You know. <clears throat> okay. And what is that URL? Roma oh, Heroi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Roma Heroi. <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the opening. It is! What? Yeah. John Geist and Brad Wisp about to roll up on the tormented like Yuji and Toto. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Brad Wisp? Hello, let's talk about how. If hot he was Pixie here, is. he would have just soloed this encounter. So. I, I don't. Need, I don't need to talk about how hot Pixie is. That's just like a fact of life. <laughs> Homie, okay. yeah, you don't. You don't just talk about how the sky is blue. Jam, I let us show the players Pixie's new ults. I saw them because I happened to be have the. Real 20 open, like, to prep the stream, and I just got jump-scared by giant pixies. Um, <laughs> can I see? Can I no. show Tiny? Can I yeah, show I... Tiny? Jade not answering me. He's working. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm focused. What's up? Can I show Tiny pixie salts? Yeah, absolutely. Poggers. We need the John Geist and Brad Wiss collab? No, we can't. They're, <laughs> They're too powerful. <laughs> Once once they get stand next to each other, it's like the property of like ninjas, where it's just like the more goons <laughs> like that you have next to each other, the weaker they get. Oh, uh, Roma, I need to ask you for something. You got it. New Yaoi. <laughs> God, I really love the 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 like back and forth of like our rts to combat thingy it's really fucking cool it's cool yeah. and stressful <laughs> i imagine yes <laughs> <laughs> it's like god it <laughs> makes me think of like a game what was it was it breath of fire i don't remember that's a game that does that <laughs> Pixie is yeah. way too powerful. <laughs> you saw that, you saw the one. <laughs> yeah, P Pixie is way too powerful. <laughs> John Geist is a pre promote that shows up as a green unit, and uh, you're like, wow, he's, he's he'd go great in, in my army. <laughs> If John Geist lives, he gets a reflection and a surname. He already has a surname. Okay. It's Geist. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you join Geist. Yeah. He owns you. He doesn't own his real <laughs> name anymore. That's fucked up, man. It would suck if something like that happened in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you can say Brennan's in this stream now. <laughs> Unrelated. Okay. 
the man who sold his name. <laughs> 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 My god. Okay. Did you guys notice the uh, Yakuza reference that I put into the gifts, by the way? Yes. Why? <laughs> I adore it. Oh god, I didn't. <laughs> Hold on, type in the chat. Oh, <laughs> amazing. The fuck? <laughs> That's right. I took the shot. <laughs> it was me. Okay. I I think I'm I think I'm pretty much ready. Oh, I think wow. I know how I'm gonna run the rest of the session. Um Okay. Uh, Mask, are you here? Yes. Lovely. Okay. In that case, let's get the fuck to it. Um, so. <clears throat> Argos! Yeah. Situation's getting worse. <laughs> You've got good news. Primarily, it's the fact that, um... Uh, primarily, it's the fact that, uh... CEO 5 has, I guess, appeared. And that, uh, this area <laughs> is yeah, no longer... News. A yeah, this is no longer a problem. I'm gonna pull the Esper core to the side. They uh they actually respond to your call now. There are a combined Geist and Esper core unit over here that um watched the situation unfold, and uh the Esper core then reports to you, and they're just like <clears throat> we locked the area down in pattern C exactly as requested. If you have any further orders, uh, let us know. Otherwise, we're going to continue to safeguard the civilians at the safe house or escort any other civilians we find. All right, good. Uh, sir, I have uh, one other warning. Yeah? Our Esper suits are actually built to resist the control of compulsion and otherwise. The Geist, uh... Soldiers. He was about to call them goons. <laughs> <laughs> Are uh, less equipped for this. To reveal yet another mechanic, Jackson. Uh huh. If compulsion, uh, much like if compulsion touches civilians, she turns them into bombs. If she touches guy soldiers, she t just converts them to her side. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just a warning, sir. Uh, it's not a risk for us, though. Okay. Thank you. Good to know. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, so, up here. <laughs> uh, breach and this compulsion damage one another. Breach takes this much damage, but kills this compulsion. <clears throat> hey, way to go, Breach. Completely gotten rid of. Um, over here. I think that's the only active engagement that's happening right now. Um, oh, no, uh, Ruth is going to move into this area. And she, on your previous orders, leaps, jumps down, and taking no damage, uh, is going to kill this compulsion. And uh, she's like, <clears throat> you, you feel her get on the comms, and she's like, hey, Argos, why are Yo. we aiming the meteor over here? It's not like there's even any pro- Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, good meteor location. Good meteor location. <laughs> <laughs> the monster hey, trucks are worth it. Too quickly. <laughs> You're too good. All I had to do was jump hard enough. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Argos, it's your turn yeah. to issue some fucking orders. What's the plan? All right. Has uh, danger reached the question mark yet? <laughs> no, we can focus He's on him on first if you want. I was just gonna say, keep going. Woo! He's gonna make it over there, and I will read out this effect. Roll a d10 for me. Continue to roll good, please. Lol, uh, yeah, I'll do my best, so. Mm. Okay. Who knows? 
Uh, let me see. Oh, okay, really good one. Um, <clears throat> Geist Antenna. A decommissioned Geist Antenna has been discovered. Tech characters can be assigned to this location to roll to do versus a 15. On a success, reveal the location of all nearby enemies, events, and civilians. Whoa. Yeah, Danger rushes over and he's like, I think, I think I found something good. <laughs> <laughs> he's sniveling. Uh, tech characters are uh, these guys down here. Uh, they can be assigned once a turn. <clears throat> okay. And, uh, okay, yeah, uh, let's have, oh, let me, I have to read what Surf does again. Surf can lock, it, uh, characters down in different locations if you want them to not move. Or, uh, sorry, Surf can block damage people for people. Surf uses, yeah. yeah, Surf uses Triumvirate to block damage. <laughs> um, Logan can preview a map before yeah. anyone lands on it. And Logan has already used that ability, so that one's on <laughs> cooldown. Cool still for another round. assign him. Oh, point. I can still assign him. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'm gonna have him go to uh, that the guy Stantana. Okay, Logan, give All me a right. roll to do. Okie dokie. Seventeen. Seventeen. You beat the fifteen. Easy. Uh, so, uh, the pulse goes out. Let me reveal a few things first. Uh, first up, demons. Uh, this guy is over here. Uh, this guy's down here. And let me... Here. Here. There seems to be a party of demons closing in. Uh, and then your scan goes out and reveals allied units in the area. Somebody on comms chimes to life. This one's for you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you feel a man adjust his glasses through the comms line as he's like, Sagittarius online, I'm moving into the area. Sagittarius's ability. Sagittarius is an attacker, but as the unique skill, whenever he's assigned to a location, he will always roll maximum on the dice, regardless of what it is. This means he will always crit, always max roll to die, it doesn't matter, he will just clean up events. Like, you you had to roll a 15 to beat that, he's guaranteed to just clean it up. Um, this man is perfect, incredible, impressive, and uh, <laughs> next to him is somebody that really was hoping you wouldn't get noticed. Uh, sorry, <laughs> well, mine. Hi. <laughs> they both they both chime in as uh, Sarah's like, I was chasing a four into the area. I think she should be around here somewhere. Uh, Saru's effect. Uh, if Saru is motivated, he deals big damage. If he's unmotivated, he deals small damage. Give him something important to protect and he'll do good. Um, okay. <clears throat> and then events on the map. I can um, roll a uh, roll a uh, d10 for me again. <clears throat> Four. Lovely. Rangers are fighting. Uh, Rangers oh. are engaged in a life or death battle with a demonic horde. Spawn one ranger <laughs> and one demon. Okay. Uh, here. <laughs> here. And here, uh, these two are engaged in a life or death fight. Uh, and obviously, if you if you intervene, you can free up the rangers who have access to cars. Um, yeah. They can go fast. And finally, last but not least, civilians. Two here. And dangerously, two here. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> they have not been noticed yet, is the reason they are fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Saru? Yeah? It's up to you to save the rangers and their cars. <laughs> uh, he thinks. Yeah, Pretty can sure do. You can, yeah. Pretty sure they'll <laughs> let you have one if you do well enough. Argos, use your character down here to uh, roll to do for me really quick. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't, I'm, I'll buy one for him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he stops. He's like, okay, I'm taking you up on that. <laughs> <laughs> He'll move over to this area and deal big damage. 
Okay, Saru moves over here, uh, clears out, uh, or Saru will do this, this, this. Oh, thank God, a fish guy is here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, get guys. him. <laughs> Saru's going to engage in combat. Uh, he is an attacker type and will engage first and wipe them out. Rangers are freed up. Yay. All right, Sagittarius, yes. I need you to do what you do best. Everything. And be the best. <laughs> do you <laughs> want me to clear up this guy to to my uh, my captain? Give them a path. Do you want me to roll stealth to sneak past them? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Easily done. <laughs> he moves over in this direction. Is going to engage with uh, with this thing. all the way over there, just like one after the other. <laughs> okay, uh, that will resolve next turn. Um, Danger's done his thing. You've completed this quadrant. Uh, center of the city. Uh, Cole is gonna Cole is gonna set up a uh, coal little 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 coal device over here. I'll just drop a a tinier man here. Yeah. Um, let's maybe, go. Maybe tint him. Yes. Like, uh, like gray or something. Let's do a uh, red. There you go. <laughs> you draw. Uh, he drops a tiny coal over there, and is like, <clears throat> uh, chimes in. Is like, I'm gonna keep going around and setting up our defenses just in case things get worse. Perfect. Making his way over here. Gonna do that. He ignores the question mark. Uh, Justice chimes in. And is like. Hey, uh, what's the plan? Okay, Justice. Uh, I want you to go over here and engage this compulsion. Uh, Send can't. any any civilians along the way. Can do the with, one to the, the south, shelter. the one to the south, or to, that one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna rush. He's like, hey, uh, hey, boss. Yeah. Uh. There's a question mark on the way. Should I should I poke it? <laughs> we'll hit it on the way back. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna weave his way down this way. Send this civilian over here. This completes the uh, the request. He ended over a reflection to me. Uh, I'm gonna drop it off with one of Opia's drones. If you need to assign it somewhere else, just uh, drop it where you need it. Okay, you now have one for you've been authorized to do that. <laughs> You think Riddle Arendite's ever <laughs> authorized for anything she does? <laughs> Great point. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, taking orders from you ain't half bad. He, uh, he's going to make his way over to the defensive line, which appears to be this wall for now, and simply wait. He's like, um, I can't get a clear sight on the other side, but I'm pretty sure there's a mass of demons. I think, uh, I think I can get in, stab compulsion, and get out, and any wounds I take, I'll just regenerate. All right, that's, if you think you can do it. Yeah, that's going to have to wait a little bit. So, yeah, give me give me a little time. He starts loading shells into his shotgun as uh, Sonnen's like, I'm successfully keeping this compulsion occupied. If you want me to do something else, let me know. Otherwise, I will simply keep her locked down. Do you want me to lead her somewhere? Nope, right there is fine. You're doing great. <laughs> Fulfilling the condition of not getting one of Theo's best friends killed. Nice <laughs> job. Uh, you are balancing so many plates, my friend. Anyway, uh, the most important plate. <laughs> <laughs> Breach. Almost forgot about him. <laughs> yeah. Breach on the comms is like Eternity is on the other side of the wall. I can try to keep walling him off, gating him around, but I'm worried what'll happen if uh, I keep this up for too long. Keep it up for now, and if he, if you notice any change in his behavior, let me know. Right. Can do. She's going to uh, rush around the corner, and um, oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> and at this exact point, you feel a pulse almost travel through the battlefield as the enemies almost feel reinforced. It feels like now another strategist is playing against you. And uh, you almost hear a whisper across the wind, a voice that almost etches itself into the side of your mind. Interesting that you are directing things from on high. I think I will attempt to do the same. 
Uh, compulsion is going to make a move now. Can you be getting beat up? <laughs> Parker just yells at nobody. <laughs> uh, she. Compulsion is going to make a few moves. Um, okay. Uh, these demons are going to close into the wall. And uh, this one's going to pick up the smaller one. And just throw it into the middle of the location. <laughs> where it splatters and starts to spread. Hey, that's my <laughs> stick. <laughs> <laughs> um, then over here, uh, she is going to relocate Eternity and jump him here. Um, Breach stops and she's like, damn it. Argos, um, she sort of exhales. Trust me, okay? All right. Let me engage him. Do not get yourself killed. <laughs> if that's the case, she squares up, sort of like loosening her shoulders. I'm going to need your help. Walk me through how you built these suits. I'm going to need it. She preps herself. It's clear that Breach has an idea. Um, uh, Give me a roll to do, Argos. God bless! Lovely. Uh, uh, Breach is... Uh, Oh god, Breach is um, going to... Uh, I'm actually going to DM you something. You get to know something that the audience doesn't. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Uh, she's going to square up and is like, and if you tell Pixie about this, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she closes into the area and is going to use the defender ability to guaranteed block someone. She keeps Eternity right there. Uh, you need to come up with a strategy to contain Eternity, but Breach will keep him contained for now. Um, then, uh, Oh god. Yeah. yeah, compulsion, you're ass enough. Um uh she's sending this guy after the civilians. Sagittarius gotta move his ass. Or you've gotta come up with a counter strategy next turn. Everything intensifies as you feel compulsion's grip tightening around you. And Down at the forward base, an alarm goes out. And you are simply watching and waiting for what fresh hell could possibly be coming next. But what changes is a flash on each of your, um, on each of your comms. The color of them shifting in real time from that opia rule, uh, blue to an almost golden hue. It shifts over, changing patterns, matching to that of a sun. And a familiar voice chimes out from inside. Mask, it's your go. Hello. My name is Constant. I just lost my daughter. I will not be losing anyone else today. There is a flare across everyone's comms as you feel like your strategies have been reinforced. Back on the RTS map. If compulsion is the second piece on the board simultaneously watching over, you feel a secondary connection bridge into your own. A figure familiar yet distant, distant flares to life in front of you. The cow that you've always known yet not. An AI hologram, a familiar figure that somehow spikes your burn, but your confidence starts to rise. 
So, to reveal the constant mechanics. What's up? You can land anyone on the battlefield a D6. Here, take a D6. And once per turn, you can make a failure a success. But afterwards, you can't make, uh, you can't hand out any other D6s. Ah. Okay. Let me know what, where I can help. <laughs> you feel the presence of a second AI sort of like patch in. Serv speaks up. I suppose this is an awkward time to introduce our father. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello, sir. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> I can't believe this is the second time Argus is meeting the father of a girl he's trying to date. <laughs> <laughs> If he's meeting two of those girls' father at the same time. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm pausing the cool music. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I realized something. Hold on, roll it back, roll it back, roll it back to the forward base, back to the fucking forward base. We're rolling the camera over here. Mm. Hey, cow! Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what the fuck do you think about this? <laughs> so <laughs> you get this cal he's sitting over on the thing with colt he's just kind of been there the whole time he's kind of been talking about nothing in particular or be just being quiet and then yes and then there's a there's the light <laughs> and the voice yeah <laughs> And after ducking to that, the man made of light turns to him and goes, Hey, man. Cal, <laughs> sitting, next to Cal sitting next to Colt. Nods. Sup? <laughs> I just kind of look at Cal and like mouth, What's the deal? <laughs> he shrugs. Uh -huh. I, uh... Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh... You folks have encountered people from previous worlds before. Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest you can probably wait till after we're in the life or death scenario. <laughs> like I said, I'm here to help. I'm not letting anyone else die today. Theo, thinking. And then registers, unaware of who this person is to begin with. <gasps> There's two of you. <laughs> <laughs> They both just wave. <laughs> Delighted. She holds her hands together, a brilliant beaming smile crossing her face as you feel genuinely. Argos, it's a it's a funny thing. There have been times in the past when you've been out on missions that you have felt a secondary supporting presence almost move through your systems, usually when an AI's life was in danger. He... <laughs> you, you feel the same presence here and now spreading out through the rest of Opia. After all, you see danger running across the battlefield, screaming and crying and serve at your side. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, uh, dad, father. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we count on your assistance here? Yeah, I'm done playing around. Oh, thank goodness. Serve sort of pauses. Well, Opie isn't the only organization with a cow. Exulansis has their own. <laughs> That's how he briefly explains it to you. Okay, uh, that World doesn't... 9 represent, baby. <laughs> it radically increases the quality of one's life, I assure you. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Serv says extremely proudly. <laughs> Aw, Duffy. <laughs> uh, not right now, please. With the, I need the troops to respect me. <laughs> oh, don't worry. That was on a private. That was just on this private channel. I Duffy. need Argos to respect me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Hi, Argos. Nice to meet you in person. Love to chat later. Uh. Hi. Oh yes, um, I believe uh, you heard about that we're allies. 
I believe he has heard about Cass's confession. Is that the distant <laughs> sound of a shovel that I hear? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, man, you're doing great. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Argos, you uh, you get yourself ready. Okay, start of the next turn. From here on, one d six bonus on everything. On everything? Any action? Uh, basically any action that uh, Constant can throw in on. You are okay. going. You are going to need this, considering the girth of the enemy's bonus. Trust me. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, you know how Cal's. You know how Cal twelve. He can give you a d6 on his turn, and that's his thing. No. Const Constant is the maximum level version of that. Yes. Cool. This is a person who has been doing this for worlds. So. Super cow. <laughs> All right. Start of the turn. Uh, well, um, what order do you want to address things in, guys? <laughs> <laughs> um let's start with justice justice okay okay i want him to go in and take care of that justice is that going impulsion. to breach through the wall as he uh expectedly is like yeah a few demons out here but they're all the small type and then he's gonna rush forward, attack the compulsion, uh, attacker type, deal enough damage, wipe her out, and then just run back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we liked. <clears throat> Good orders, boss. And then um, almost simultaneously, uh, these uh, groups of uh, demons are going to close in. And this uh, guy's force is going to, as an attacker type too, just lay down suppressive fire, wiping out this one. <clears throat> The guys, guys, actually have seem to have our backs this time. Not really used to that. Yeah, let's not look a gift horse in its geist mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, Cole. Cole. Cole is going to set up another device over here. It's like. <clears throat> Hey, well, I'm are gonna you gonna warn him about the, the demons in the middle of the place here? <clears throat> uh, yeah, what's up? Is it possible to uh, use those defenses to fire at the the demons in the center there? Oh yeah, absolutely. I need to like sort of like kite them back, but yeah, I could do that. All right, do it safely. Okay, just gonna run over this way and uh, get get ready to do that and try to draw their attention. Um. Let's hit this with a roll to do. Uh, hey, uh, you got that D6. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, give him that D6. You, you got that D6, Hi, please. A, D6. a four. Okay. Okay. Uh, it let's, lock in. let's lock in a dice first. Okay. 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 That's a moderate success. Two of them will move up, up in this direction. God fucking bless. Okay. Nice. Cole's, uh, Cole's turn done. Uh... Ruth over here is up on top of the um up on top of the wall. She's like, okay, which one are we going after? Uh is the meteor just going to like automatically fall on that thing if she oh, yeah. goes into next... other stuff? Yeah, next turn. Okay. Uh get those civilians the hell out of here. Okay. I mean I could tag them already... and then go fight the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want you cool. heading towards that big big guy, uh who's by the shelter starts running in this direction. She will engage. Um, uh, then, um, let's resolve this situation. Uh, you have access to all these units. What are your orders and in what order? It's very important right now. Okay. <laughs> Civilians are directly in danger. <laughs> all right. Sorry. Let me just check yeah. all the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Rangers. Oi, oi, Captain. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Wait, it's time for a rescue mission. You need to go deep into enemy territory and yes, save some civilians. Yes, you, know. <laughs> you, you want us to take a combat a combatant with us? 
Uh, I can go with. <laughs> Fish guy sprinkle. Cool. <laughs> you're gonna, you're actually going to meet up with someone already in the field. All right. All right, Cahoon. Saru, I've got a different task for you. Oh yeah, no problem. What's up? Right. So I'm gonna send the rangers here. Okay. To whisk these people away in their fast cars. Okay. Beep beep, motherfucker. <laughs> This is my favorite RTS unit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You've entered the cheat code in Age of Empire to get the power of the gun on it. <laughs> How do I turn this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you want them to meet up with danger on the way? They can transport danger. Alternatively, uh, they can just go in. <laughs> I want them to just go in and save these Okay, civilians. they're going to make, make sure it there's... back over here. There you go. The car is screeching. Tell me how the rangers get to these guys. <laughs> it's just fucking, it's literally just, uh, like, uh, the scene is set. It's like a yeah. fucking Attack on Titan episode. The civilians, <laughs> they're sweating. Their eyes are wild. They're looking around. It's awful. There's a horror filter on the fucking screen. They see the hands and then the mouth and the horrible smile around the fucking thing. There's just, meep, meep, as <laughs> swerving from the left and just, like, Next thing they, they blink, and next thing they know, they're just in a weird ramshackle car that really should not be holding them together and should not be going this fast. But, uh, you know, at least the people around them are throwing fucking, like, uh, throwing the bird at the big thing, and they're going away, so it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the car turns and starts skidding away. Okay, next. Okay, next. Uh, danger. Yeah. I want you to move up this direction and back up coal and start taking out these these demons here. Uh, can do. Let me. Um, okay. Sagittarius, so, uh, how you doing with your fight down there? Uh, he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna roll. I mean, a twenty? That's crazy. <laughs> 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 Good easily, job, buddy. easily done. <laughs> nice. Continue on to the big guy. All right. <laughs> He's going to keep going. <laughs> okay, okay Dan Saru. Danger's going to head up in this direction. Okay. Uh, ooh, uh, Danger's actually going to pick up the one that uh, Cold didn't. Uh, Saru, uh, what, what's, what's Saru's plan? Saru, I need you to head down and back up Sonnet and take out this, <clears throat> this uh, uh, compulsion. Oh, am I sneak attacking her while she's distracted? Yep. Oh my god, I'm about that. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his I'm about that bonus. Easy picking. Jumps, just impales her. Sonnet quietly yeah! nods. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, who's left? Sonnet can still go, actually. Sonnet can still go, actually. Oh. What needs doing? So much. Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have Sonnet just, uh, please direct these civilians here to the safety of the shelter. Okay. Uh, hey, you got the D6? <laughs> <laughs> please? Please, may I have a cup of D6? Please push it over a 15, thank you. Mmm, <laughs> pour it out on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked it, it's not going through. You do not, uh, no, Sonnet, no. Sonnet, uh, actually struggles, and she's like, I'm sorry, they won't listen to me. It seems that my presence as a demon has otherwise been discovered, or I'm freaking them out. It's not working right now, I'm... Sorry. She seems genuinely a little off-put by this. Hmm. Well, you know. Uh, once we're act. <laughs> uh, Constant, tell me how you turn this into a success. Constant taps into the sonnet's wi wire and goes, Okay, you're an actor. I've seen you remember your work. You're an actor, right? Right now, you're playing yes. the role that they... You, you just got to pick the role that they need. They're looking for someone confident. They're looking for someone in control who's going to make them feel safe. Someone Perform the role. famous. I've done this a million times before. She exhales, walks forward, and is like... 
Uh, she starts to strut and recreates her uh, her her famous. Uh, th there's a long unbroken shot of her walking down the street of Sky Point from Look Intense, <laughs> <laughs> and she re embodies it to the fullness of her ability as she moves through the area and starts to direct them and. Instead of, uh, in this moment, almost like a part of their brains activates that's like, oh god, demon source of burn, etc. But now, instead, she preys upon the other form of conditioning that this world has put in, uh, into their brains. Movie star equals safety! <laughs> 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 and, uh, they are going to indeed go over in this direction. And then, um... Uh... This, uh, this guy's guard is going to... Escort these civilians down to here. This uh, this Esper Corps grunt is going to move up here, and we catch up on the situation. Oh right, Argos. The update for this situation right here is. Well, let me. Uh, everyone's um. Everyone's comms go off. As the uh, as the uh, signal spreads through the entire area, that uh, her body's decayed. Right now, shit. Eternity simply stands there, and you almost feel you feel a weight spread through the area. Luckily, Pixie is currently cut off from support or otherwise, as. A man simply stands in the middle of the street. Another fly swatted off to the side. He moves, reappraises his location. And I move over here. Breach. Hold still. The edges of her body slowly decaying away around her. And she stays on the comms with you, Argos. Okay. This is going to get a lot harder for me in a sec. So I'm going to be counting on you for this. Opia's healthcare is pretty good, right? The best. Okay. She, uh, she presses a button on the side of her throat. And uh, something actually sort of unlocks and slides inwards. It's been a while since I've had to do something like this. Thought I'd move past it, but... <sighs> what happens in this moment... Her esper suit snaps shut, and the decay of her body is... Her body decays away into nothing, vanishing entirely. But her flame <gasps> is piped around the inside of the suit. She's completely... Using the internal servos, she slowly picks herself up, rising from the ground. <sighs> you tell Riddle I want a simulacrum, okay? She starts to, again, same gesture as before, loosen a shoulder that no longer exists as her body locks in place. I don't have any senses, so you're going to have to direct me. Tell me where to build the wall. You got okay, it. Argos. Now on this map, Pixie oh. is little more than a flame in a suit. How do you direct her ESP to stop Eternity from going further? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's... He's probably not gonna be happy. Or... Oh, she can't tell me what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> she cannot see or feel anything anymore. She is extending her sixth sense exclusively. It's up to you to tell her where to aim. <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't want Eternity going any further south towards everything, really. Okay. So I think some kind of wall like this. You, uh, you basically send it over and she's like, how many feet? Feet tall? Or... How many feet down? <laughs> She's like, you feel her take a step. Sorry, the world's all black for me. Right now, what Pixie perceives 
Is something breach. closer? Or oh, sorry, what breach perceives is something closer to this. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Let me. Not All right. Forty feet directly in front of you. She nods. Arcing ten feet to your right. It's a simple motion. She shifts what should be her head once, and uh, the ground almost seems to twist and move immediately. A fusion of her reflection and her reinforced ESP rapidly creating a location that Eternity can't get his way past. He stops and actually slowly turns towards her. I can't say anything to him, but... If you've got his comms, yeah. say I'm not done yeah. with him yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> Is there like a, a speaker box on the on the suit? Uh, here's the delightful thing. Can... This is made from Fate Weaver. The interior of the suit is all that same flame conductive wiring that you've been processing up to this point. The flame conductive wiring actually does transmit and convert flame to and from electricity. Yes, she is able to get a speaker, uh, uh, a sense across. However, the suit is built to isolate her completely from the outside to stop anything else from getting in. It's meant to reduce burn, not do whatever the fuck she's doing right now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Okay. That Argos is not complaining about all those hours. Treble asked him to win. I am going to tap into the speaker on her suit. Yeah, <laughs> and do my my best breach impression. <laughs> Say, You've been training for this. <laughs> I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> you see Eternity actually turn and look. You see a look of recognition as it's clear that um he knows what he did to her. He knows he eliminated her body entirely. Her flame should be gone at this point. But he sort of pauses, turns, and Argos, you see the look from your perspective. A smile crosses his lips, and he takes a step forward this way. You can tell that look as your gut sinks. The man's found a pyromancer candidate. <laughs> you feel like Breach has certainly got his attention. The two of you have his attention. Yeah. Keep directing my senses. I'll keep them locked down. All right. You need to, you need to back up, first of all. <laughs> She's gonna start moving back in this direction. And guess what? He's going with! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's bad in a new way, but uh, hey, mission success. Attorney She's like, trying to pick her up under his shoulder and walk away with her. <laughs> He's like, sick, logic just died. Uh, hmm. <laughs> you're halfway Squinting. there, you'll do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're close. Uh, she starts to move off in this direction as she's like, I'm going to need guidance. Tell me when to turn. Uh, Argos, give me a roll to do to keep directing uh, Breach. Yes! Oh my god, okay. Uh, you managed to direct Breach really well, and she actually gains on Eternity as she charges off in this direction. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you notice up ahead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's... She's running into danger, but the bigger danger is after her, so, you know. Um, okay. That's her go. <laughs> End of the turn. Uh, compulsion's on cooldown. Uh, Surf actually speaks up. <clears throat> Secondarily speaking. Uh, with constant managing a lot of the moment-to-moment, -moment, we are able to redirect power... Overall, uh, through everyone's comms, I can provide artificial guidance to the best of my ability, and if you want, we can attempt to conduct single-handed savior to everyone here. Well, not everyone. I... That's a little beyond my capabilities. 
I think potentially we could start with an individual and work our way outwards. Uh, if the way you just interacted with Breach's suit uh, functions overall, it should actually be a pretty easy task. Okay, Argus. Last mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once per uh, once per turn, you can mark one character with tactics. Can be on your team or the enemy team. Tactics gives you some incredibly simple moves that you can make with them. Um, let me show you. You could do something very simple. Sentence each. Reposition. Swaps the location of two allied units. Lockdown. Target cannot move this act. Or charge. Target gains an additional action. And you can pop this whenever. Oh, okay. So you can bank them functionally. If you're like, no, nah, I don't really have a use for it this turn. You can keep it, keep a person marked with it and let, let it lapse to the next turn. Okay. Do I get one for this turn? You right do. Now? Exactly. I'm going to give that to Breach immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wise choice, my friend. You mark Breach. Okay. Um, you can pop it immediately or simply leave it. Uh, this will be the end of the turn otherwise. Let's end that turn. Okay. Turn ends. Next turn begins. Constant, you're back online. Everyone else is back online. Let's update the situation here first. <clears throat> Sagittarius is closing in. He's going to roll for damage. Or, <laughs> right, he's gonna. Roll. I'm sorry, he what? He what? Oh, that's a five? That's a cool 20. That's he's gonna. Weird. Yeah. Told you guys you would need those 20. <laughs> <laughs> he exchanges blows with this guy. This guy has enough health to withstand his attack, so he'll attack back. Uh, Sagittarius is like, don't worry, I will get them on my next turn. All right. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, Argos, who's going next? Who? Uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> situation man yeah I want to have I want to have justice come back and uh fight against uh one of these guys. guys okay you're gonna make justice move over here fight against one of those guys you will rush in Cole will fight against uh, this guy over here, and then Danger will fight against the last guy. Functionally a three-way pin uh, pincer, if that works for you. That works for me. Okay, civilian gone, civilian gone. Uh, the parentheses positive. Uh, <laughs> as, uh, these ones are escorted over here. Okay. Um, roll one. Hey, 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 Constant, please. <laughs> please! <laughs> Hey buddy, have a D6. Thank God! Uh, danger just <laughs> Danger just runs on the screen gaming. and just blows this guy up. That's uh, my... Boy, that's <laughs> fun! I can finally say that! <laughs> you take some damage. Um, as Cole is going to fire over using his devices. 16 does not need it, as this one is similarly wiped out. Hell Center's yeah. clear, boss. Center's clear, boss. Danger <laughs> yells while crying. <laughs> you're doing I did amazing. My best. <laughs> you're doing. You're doing absolutely amazing. I'm so okay. proud of you. <laughs> oh, my dad, Siri's gonna see me crying. <laughs> <laughs> We've all seen you crying. <laughs> Danger, right now you are being incredibly brave. I don't see anything but that. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, 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 coincidentally, uh, the entire city shakes as a meteor just goes down, man. <laughs> okay, next meteor. Where do you want it, boss? <laughs> right on that thing's head that you're looking at. The one, okay, okay. Uh, should I not fight it then? She skids to a halt. Oh, I get, man, I guess you can do so much, can't you? I thank you for recognizing my greatness. <laughs> <laughs> there's Let's... like, I think there's like some guys over by Breach, but from what I understand, Breach is uh, not doing too hot right now. Yeah, I got, I got a plan for Breach. <laughs> um, let's hold off on Ruth and. I want to see what the rangers are. Let's go! <laughs> uh, as uh, as sort of like 
just because uh, I didn't want to interrupt anything. Oh, yeah. But oh, can they? I will do a thing. Uh, oh. Logan is going to make a gamble. Oh. Uh, whenever Ooh. Compulsion yes. tries to fuck with Argos' plan when he tries to help, oh. Lynch, Argos gets a bonus. Logan, oh, you love to see it. Logan, you fucking. Love All right, him. sorry. Please, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, these guys. Yo, right. Uh, Rangers, can you go pick up Saru? Fuck yeah, fish guy. <laughs> 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 Boom. <laughs> Sir, like, uh, okay. Hops in the car. Where are we going to? <laughs> Get in, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're gonna head north. Okay, squad's gonna head north. <laughs> what? Uh, should we drop the civilians off? We're sort of near the protected area. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> you, did they did sh get shoved down? Oh, and... Get fuck! Get fuck! Get fuck! <laughs> Son, it will continue. Son, it will continue directing them. Um, then. Uh, who hasn't gone yet? Um, uh, these demons close in. Uh, our demons headed that way. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so. It's, 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 it's time. You can also mark anyone with tactics if you want. Um, it's like time, my friend. What is she doing? Okay. Breach. Yes. I need you to create a wall underneath yourself. Underneath myself? Okay, to uh, rise into the air. Rise into the air and get up onto the rooftops. Okay. She'll uh, she'll do it. I want her coming this way. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice! Breach Fuck rises yeah. up into the air and just Ooh. starts to run across it. She's like... This is requiring more dexterity than I'm used to. Doing great. It'll, it'll at least uh, flummox eternity. <laughs> oh. Did I just say flummox? Please get me footage of him being flummoxed. <laughs> <laughs> <Do my best. laughs> she makes her way up here and stops at the edge of the building. And she's like, if I take another step, I'm going to fall off the building, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hold position for now. Hold position for now. Be ready to um, to make a wall for yourself to go down. She, uh, okay. Uh, Ruth is, uh, Ruth's got her action held. Um, yeah. and at this exact moment, Compulsion is going to take her go. As she is going to, uh, jump Eternity up onto the roof with her, because of course she is. Uh, Breach gets to roll. Uh, Argos, give me a, give me a, uh, what, give me a, um, roll to do, add 2d6 to it. Uh, 3d6, uh, because of constant. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yo! Plus 3d6? Add your d6s, let's go. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> Argos, you can also lock in a stat. Uh, nine? Okay, lock in a stat for me. I, I gotta <laughs> see how fucking big this bonus is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Argos, what's the plan? Whatever it is works perfectly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the sound of that laugh. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... The plan is, Ruth, I know where you want to drop this meteor. Yeah! <laughs> it's going to be on eternity. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Darn straight! <laughs> Breach? She, uh, yeah. Breach is going to make a, a wall right in front of her that leads to the ground so she can run off. Oh, awesome. Okay. As far as locking eternity in place goes, you got a plan for that? I, was, I, mean, I was gonna right have him see if he'd stay up on the uh, buildings <laughs> or chase after. Uh, Ooh, okay. Here's how this goes. Yeah. Cough, cough. Yeah. Point at the uh, at that new mechanic that was just. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting back to the correct chat. <laughs> 
down here. Breach climbs to the top of this building, positions herself here, and then uh, in order to give herself a proper boost back down to the ground, actually just leans backwards, exhales, and lets herself fall. She almost braces herself out of the air, uses her sixth sense to feel where the building was, and extends it into a ramp, so she starts rolling and picking up speed, and then <laughs> fires herself downwards as Eternity walks to the edge of the building and lightly leaps. The game of tag now fully in place. He starts to flutter through the air after her. What do you do? All right. Gonna mark Eternity with tactics. Okay. <clears throat> and immediately spend it. <laughs> to lock him down. So, this is what this looks like. You lock him in place. As <clears throat> Breach throws herself free and rolls off in this direction at a tremendous bonus, and Eternity moves his way forwards. And he will roll versus this. He does get this. And it isn't enough. The man rolls like a tormented rolls, but in this moment, your preparations, properly laid, were set in place. Breach rolls her way down the ground, comes to a rest, and what does tactics activating in this exact uh, moment look like? Serve sort of whispers, he's like, well, I did promise that enough power was diverted to other operations. Okay, then. Um, Argos. <clears throat> there should be a button on your new suit. Please press it for me. Hmm, this one right here. <laughs> you reach over and this time the GM understands your beeps as you <laughs> arc one finger up and click a button. As the Geist satellite recently repurposed via Opia's own hacking team points directly downwards a pulse of electricity travels through the area as beams of light begin to connect outwards, flame igniting and locking the man in place. Uh, you feel single-handed savior screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Eternity is locked in place. Your single-handed savior fired once this turn. Breach like... Even I felt that over here. So that's what I'm connected up to right now. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> hey, uh, don't hit me with that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> Eternity locked in place freezes as Ruth drops the meteor marker on the man. And... <laughs> the camera goes somewhere else. Roll Freaking around. love that the meteor marker is a squiggle. <laughs> <laughs> we make do. Robin. Robin. You didn't think I forgot about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hey Robin. <laughs> yeah. Give me a uh, rule to do. He rolled above a 10. Oh my god. My god! Holy shit, I'm so proud of her. Describing the sensation you currently feel is difficult. It feels like different signals are being blasted into your brain, all from different angles. It feels like you're being convinced to live a lie, yet live your own life simultaneously. It feels like you are being fed radio static that bounds and resounds against the inside of your skull. This is what possession likely feels like. If your LS is anything to go off of, the entire thing is chirping. It's going wild. Your body feels simultaneously heavy and light. It feels like your flame wants to explode out of you. To dance free amidst the air. It feels grotesque. Give me another roll to do. Liam, give me a roll to do. All right. Pixie, give me a roll to do. Okay. Uh, Liam. <clears throat> yeah. 
It almost feels like it feels like your skin is boiling. Your flesh is picking itself off of you. It feels like your monstrous exterior is now something that you can not only hold, it's something that's smothering you. You feel like you're drowning. Yet, at the same time, you feel like you'll drown if you're pulled free from it. The feeling is disgusting, heavy, weighty. Robin, roll to do for me. Robin. In this, in this weight, in this heat, what do you focus on? Uh, the fact that her friend is in danger. Your friend's in danger. Right. You try to pick yourself up and you start to move again. Your eyes almost slowly open. You're still able to move. You're still able to drive forward. You're here. You're still here. You're still sane. You're still conscious. You're still sane. Uh, everyone around you seems to be going through a similar, similar mind journey right now. From where do you draw strength? Can I roll to die to find out? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, from what I want to be. The uh, hero who's a member of Flow. You focus on this concept, and as you do, a vision almost ignites in front of your eyes. <clears throat> you see an old lab scorched on either side by the desert winds. A man stands in front of you, a doctor in front of him. The doctor says something simple. This process is irreversible. I understand you want to help everyone here out, but at the same time, there's no going back once you walk down this path. Are you okay with it? Really? The man sort of looks up into the air, looking at the lights over his head. If it means we get to live for one more day? Sure. Why not? And you hear a voice echo out. A voice that he's repeated again and again and again. Countermand? isn't a singular weapon. It is a series of weapons meant to drive back the end. The voice that echoes through your mind has taught people how to use this weapon again and again and again. And in this moment, he has but a single piece of advice. There's a trigger near your finger. Pull it. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> is known for one thing, it's doing what she's told. <laughs> <laughs> you press the button down as this action almost seems to superheat the blade inside the sheath. You feel the heat increase and increase as you stumble your way forwards. You drive your body upwards and the blade feels almost too hot to hold in this second. She stands over you, but you know what to do. Take the blade, aim it true. This isn't like swinging a sword. It's more like aiming a gun. It's about controlling the momentum. If you think too much about slashing, you're never gonna strike any vitals. You always swing wide. So aim for core and hope for the best. You can do it. <clears throat> that you can do it. <laughs> resonates through her and uh, there aren't many times where she's been told that but in this moment when things are so dire it's it really it really counts <laughs> you aim Robin give me that roll to do yeah <laughs> she's uh <laughs> gonna use ignition let's fucking go Pull the trigger on her sword. <laughs> and... You aim as... The attack. Flies free with a shocking amount of force. You use ignition, it dumps all the ammo. This is a technique only usable when your sword is superheated. Every bullet bursts 
sending it and you at a speed that you didn't think was possible. Your figure darts forward, slicing through. When he said, think of it more like a projectile than a sword, he wasn't just talking about the blade. Your body travels behind the weapon as you fly past, all of your bones rattling in place. Your body freezes, leaving a burn across her behind you. Roll me 2d6 for the dumped ammo. Every individual bullet bursts in place as, for this moment, you are freed from compulsion's control. Liam, you rolled next highest. Go. <laughs> All right. Um, as Robin does what he always knew she could do and uh, fucking comes in with a killer fucking uh, slice, uh, she uh, decides that now it's now or never. They don't have time to think. They don't have time to fucking... Uh, do tactics or anything. He switches to beast mode, and he's gonna give it his all. Um, <laughs> Go for it, man! <laughs> so, let's see. Roll, uh, yep, roll to do, and, um, probably, yeah, we'll see. Boop. Yep, you okay, I'm gonna... You swing your arm up and over at her! I'm my, my free ignites to add a d6 to that. Let's go. <clears throat> and I'm gonna ignite again. <laughs> uh, to add a d6 to that. I assume you're grabbing the corpses behind you and I swinging sure them. I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> I read your mind, you boom, boom, swing them down on her as, uh, Pixie. For the love of fucking God, she aims, the shots traveling through, she'll ignite, pushing herself to the absolute limit. As your combo descends on compulsion again, the attack traveling straight into her as she seems to pause, the possession being a thing that laughs for but a moment, you feel her lightly smiling. But a moment of rebellion before you fall fully under her sway. Before a man loudly lets out a clap in the background. Okay, thanks for the opening, brethren. He, <laughs> he prepares himself and you feel a secondary ESP field spreading through the area. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry. <clears throat> All this time, I've seen you guys. You're setting me up for the big hit. I get it. I respect it. And, uh, well, I'm about to pay all that off. Yeah. <laughs> what? I was <laughs> the big hit? <laughs> the man holds his hands out to either side as a horrifying amount of just flame burns off of his body. He takes a step forward as a secondary ESP field spreads within the barrier and actually forces it backwards, one field overriding the other. Your teamwork's beautiful. Let me throw in my own. He starts to stride towards the pyromancer, one after, uh, one step after the other, as you certainly feel the presence of world tw the birth of a world 12 master esper he no, <laughs> up behind you as the energy starts to spread john geist looks over with an equivalent look of shot as he's like okay everyone from here on we've been playing her game now it's time to play our own he claps again it's showtime, baby! And the world seems to go black for a moment. Oh, no. What you see in front of you okay. is similar to the effect of Melly's ESP. It feels like you've gone somewhere else. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> a great highway speeds off in front of you as CEO 5 stops posed here. Uh, the blade cut in Compulsion's side actually remains. She seems just as shocked as you are as CEO 5, still shirtless, pauses there and points. You see? Now we're subjected to showtime. <laughs> to offer a brief explanation so you don't need to read all that crap in chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's something very simple. 
He taps the side of his head. As a man, I've watched a boatload of different movies. And while you're in the effects of my ESP field, we're gonna play out each and every one of them that's selected by a roulette wheel. He points at each of you. Your role will be randomly, uh, <clears throat> your role will be de uh, determined by a pre-selected list. The order of which will be determined by us drawing lots. Now, the rules for Showtime are very simple. He throws up his hands. If the characters die in the movie, they gotta die in Showtime, correct? So we gotta scramble for different roles that match to our abilities just a little bit better. He looks at everyone here and takes a step forward. No matter what, <clears throat> This ability doesn't discriminate when it comes to friend or foe. So when it comes to picking roles and acting them out, you gotta act with your entire heart out. He oh like... God. He points down the way. <laughs> now this film should be familiar to any Ace Galatine uh... fan, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you look at the man in front of you. Shut That's... in the dark. Is this agent danger? You know it, my <laughs> man! <laughs> you see John Geist hook his hand around the base of his helmet and he's like, Oh, what kind of crazy shit you got up into? <laughs> <laughs> How wow. fast was that? Holy <laughs> oh my god! How? Thanks, thanks Leaf! <laughs> Leaf, you're uh, a god. Holy shit. He, oh, he sort of gets god. himself ready as he's like, well, it's a little ridiculous, but I guess it's better than us just shooting each other to death. I think we've got a better chance in this, right? He, like, looks over. She doesn't exactly seem like the uh, type to play along. Everyone pauses and looks over at Compulsion in the middle of your group. She stays there paused for a second, looking at each of you. Now that I have you alone, I was hoping for a chance to speak with you. I was deeply curious what Opia was capable of. If you were capable of driving back eternity the demons as a whole. She prods you with her cane, Robin, making you take a step backwards, and then she pats herself down. You've managed to almost drive compulsion to a wound, and she seems to respect that. She looks down at her body. Earlier, I asked you what your value was. Do you have an answer for that question now? She looks at you, Robin. She looks at you, Liam. I'm, I'm leaving the floor to Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> the, whatever I can give. Interesting. She seems to take that question and turns and looks over at you, Liam. God. <laughs> when it comes to value... A good roadie stays in the shadows, swift <laughs> as the wind. <laughs> a good roadie sets the stage up for the people who deserve it. That's my value. <laughs> she seems to ascertain this. I'm curious of whether or not it is safer with Opia or safer with the Pyromancers. She inhales. Originally. I was going to play out the scenario to the point that I was wounded enough that I would risk anything. But realistic, realistically speaking, I risk very little via my association with you all here. Even if you smash this body, it will not be enough. I have reversed engineered the technology of the tormented to persist no matter what. But there's a certain joy in surviving in less miserable circumstances. 
She exhales heavily. I was going to approach you with this consideration until you placed this farce in front of me. She turns over and looks at John. You said I seemed like the type that wouldn't play along. She turns and looks at everyone here. <laughs> she lets out a light laugh. A reminiscence spreading through her mind. Bryn, I play one of these, you play the rest. Uh, you oh. will understand in a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Ages and ages in the past. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 a door is thrown open. Okay, guys, let's raid the place. What are you got in here? I don't know. They got like a big computer system or something. Just rip the place apart, anything that's usable, and a voice resu uh, resounds out from the back of the facility. Any further trespass will not be allowed. Management will be contacted. Oh, Holy shit. shit, the door just stalked. Yeah, it does that. Calm down. Hal <laughs> Stein yells backwards. He moves his way in. And this is like, okay, listen. I understand what you're probably going through, but he reaches up to his mask and actually unclicks it, showing a face under it. Uh, a mechanical, almost bug-like jaw. All the humans are dead. Your managers are gone. All that's left are us hybrids and machines like you. So I've got something very simple. You can either come with us or you can be left to rot here. Isn't that right, boys? Yeah, that's fucking right. We got coolant. <laughs> <laughs> they turn around and she reminisces of a time spent traveling with the people she has now utterly disavowed. <laughs> 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 Moving through the wastes of their abandoned world, she experienced one thing after the other. Engaging with a group of people that would pull her free from that hell, <laughs> allowing her to recreate herself. She pauses at the edge of that highway, thinking to herself now, smile quietly playing across her lips. <clears throat> if you thought or considered even for a second, that you would be able to defeat me by throwing me into a silly mini game. She taps her cane once on the floor. You underestimate the depths of silly that I have seen. <laughs> <laughs> she turns around, holds her cane out, and she's like, showtime, was it? Let's go then. Let's see who the best actor is. <laughs> <laughs> Compulsion strides deep into the ESP field, aware of the fact that no matter what comes, as always, she would leave alive. <laughs> Great session, squad! Legendary! <laughs> I, okay, I, I, I want to say, I did not know any No! didn't we tell you that Stein was originally a ranger? Oh, not the compulsion <laughs> stuff! You, told me about Stein. you didn't tell me anything about the compulsion <laughs> <laughs> I already oh, know, Excited me completely. <laughs> Dude, Jackson, congrats. You actually managed to Roma's like prep maps on the off chance that Robin manages to hear Counterman's voice. And I'm like, no way she's gonna do it. She doesn't. I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> I told you. Oh my god. I literally oh, I was like, you have two options. You need to prep. <laughs> 
Y'all, good fucking session. Hey, Jackson, shout out to you doing that for four and a half hours. Yeah. You were fucking killing it, dude. You were fucking killing it, bro. You were killing it, dude. Yeah, you did so good, oh man. Oh, my fucking God. That was man. fun. Oh, man. That was <laughs> really Robin fun. Robin is alive for now. <laughs> Robin's Fuck doing yeah. great. She's got to enjoy no, no. funny yep. minigame. She, she's literally in her element right now. She's a yeah. skeleton fan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you the did you like thing. her like did you like her super move which is the gun shoots you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I want to reminisce about how good the session was, but you can do that over at the official Discord, yeah, which you should go real. join now because we've got fan art. <laughs> oh my god! Hi. Yeah, yeah. right, so uh, we got from uh, Rian. I gotta scroll up and check. So I have to do like a funny little thing for this, but uh, a lot of daily riddles. My God, so many. So... Yippee! I love the struck by lightning one so much. <laughs> oh God, so cute. And another Dillard. I hey. love this one. <laughs> another Dillard. <laughs> another Dillard. What a natural. <laughs> another Dillard. I, I, love, I love this frog. one. Oh. And a frog. Oh. <laughs> and a Michael phone. Michael phone. Ah, oh. Melly. Yo, Melly. Melly. <laughs> Yo, let's go. She's fine. She's fine. She went to the beach early. She's having a great time on the beach. Cam wise. Camera wise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The horse. The move points for you. Look at them. Oh, lovely. Oh. Oh my god. That's incredible. Then from uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, holy shit from Hody. Oh, yes! yeah! How did you know? How did you know? Been, I have been foaming at the mouth since I saw this at the start of session. I was oh, so good. staring at That's it. So oh, cool! Oh. It's the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen. Then, uh, from Angel Fire. Yeah! yeah. This fucking rules, man. Oh my heart! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> oh, fuck. Ow, I cry. <laughs> I <got> plastic. <laughs> Selling troubles, W's. Oh, oh lovely. Then from Star, <laughs> we have. Yo, let's go! I love these. I love. I love the Ace studies. The famous done. movie star. I think, I think, Look at him. I think I'm gonna make this rule, just because yep. uh, we have a shitload of fan art. Yeah. Uh. So a lot of these were drawn throughout the week and posted in fan content. I'm probably going to ask people not to just dump everything that you've drawn in the week in the live fan art, just because it ask, takes, it takes you, a uh, while. Yeah, could you compile it in one image? It would yeah. be would be my request. If you compile oh, yeah, it in that's one image, idea. that's that's fucking peak. Yeah. <laughs> I love Lovely. this one. Oh, yeah. oh my god, handsome Argos. Yeah, I love this one. From Vanilla Snow Golem. Yo, Ooh. a man. Mm -hmm. A man. The bastard. And from Dungeon Master. Yo. Yo. Hanky. And the day was saved. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another from BHP. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> forgot about Green. Green. <laughs> Will Green be upon ye? Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Then from. Or Holy shit. And then from Rihanna. Oh. Oh, my baby brother. Then. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Let's go! She exists. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, our and our pog. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. From Dragon Rest Zero, we got. Oh, oh man! <laughs> oh my baby boy! Oh no. my baby boy! He's running and pissing and crying. EMS holding hands. <laughs> brave and tough, and I will not hear one fucking word against you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Justice. Squaring the fuck up. That's yeah. so dope. Dun, dun, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Every BHP move got John guys. We've got a shotgun of art. This is all from uh, NDX. Ooh, oh, lovely. lovely. Oh, I love it. Pixel oh, there is. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at the belly. Yes. Oh, that's 
expression. Yes! Right. <laughs> yes! Lovely. Yes. From Dungeon Master Zero. Oh. <laughs> oh. Built to mage, born to stab. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Oh, oh my god. god. Oh that my god. Fox. I love that this. Lee, um, and then uh, from BH Greenwich. <laughs> from Dungeon Master Zero. Oof. Oh, um, oof. Oof. Oh. And then from Rihanna. Right? <laughs> God, <nah. laughs> she'll, she'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Then. Aww. Hey, yo. <laughs> then from then from Fuji. Oh. Yo. Oh, oh, my oh, brother in the world. Oh. Running and crying. Let me have Robin. Nice. Oh, fucking Glock. <laughs> <laughs> Master at work, or even I can. I'm so happy. Best boys here. Best boys here. Yo, John Jice, man. And the Sagittarius from Chad. Here we have from Final Dream Machine. Yeah. Oh, lovely. My daughter just died. Yo, I'm not letting that happen again. Ooh. Then we have. Anyway, how's everybody? Bree. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, she, nice. uh, she is expecting a new body uh, of the same exact variety as before. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, yes. That's I cool. love Argo strings. And then John Gale. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> new best and... boy has arrived. <laughs> That's it. Holy shit. Very nice. Good job, Excellent. everyone. Thank you so much for all the fan art. Thank yeah. you so much for all the art. Oh, Amazing oh, job, thank everyone. you for streaming. Oh, Argos. Argos. Jackson, thank you for streaming. Argos. Jackson, thank you for playing. Argos. Brin. Jay, thank you so much for putting this together. Jay, thank you so much for running. Thank Roma you carried my ass the last few days. I'm gonna I be real. Fucking nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fucking killed it, you guys. Oh my god, good thank session. Thank you all so much for the fan art. Thank you all so much for watching. Catch y'all <gasps> next week. Oh, oh science! science. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.